Good morning and happy new year. Happy new year. We're bringing out the boobs. boobs. We're dressy. <laughs> dressy means t-shirt, necklace. necklace, boobs. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. Happy New um, Year, everyone. Happy New Year, guys. Sorry, we uh we did, or I did say yesterday we were gonna start at 10 minutes ago, but um, I guess we're just doing we're doing the Brown family um thing where you set member Joe Darker. Don't uh, tell me eight o'clock and we're leaving at ten. I'm gonna be mad. Don't even try don't, it. Yeah. And Cody was like, Cody's balls went right up into his body. Oh, yeah. He He's that. like, uh, yeah, me too these wives <laughs> <laughs> i got total control here joe a couple of things well i mean i have a whole list of shit to blast through right now on our pregame yeah but um i okay so we're gonna talk about this when the show actually starts in uh, 10 minutes but we kind of figured out um yesterday before we recorded our heads were just both exploding but i think we figured out what we're doing after this is over and it's going to have to do with reading the sister wives book Mm -hmm. um and that'll be a youtube thing so we can all meet every week still read a read a chapter this we have to kind of like break it down we gotta like skirt around the the what do you call it copyright (laughs) so like we're looking into it okay yeah guys come on yeah, no, but, but we're going to, we'll bury it, it deep within the episode. But anyway, I was like looking, because we have to buy the Sister Wise book. I think it's just easier if we both have it. But, uh, and, and the thing that it recommended for me to buy along with the book is the Dargers have a book. Oh, yay. Yay. Yeah. Keeping up with the Dargers. That's not what it's called, but remember he said. Oh, I was like, I was about to just, I mean, throw myself <laughs> like just off yourself. Yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> Oof, yikes. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, how was your Christmas and New Year's? Did you party um, all night last night? Oh, I mean, it was lit. I was, I stayed up, up till 10.30. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Actually, I did stay up till about 10.30 and then it was uh, lights out. Mama was tired. So yeah, uh, yeah passed out woke up my family group chat was it was getting pretty lit in there because one of my nieces was born on 010101 so every ah. new year's eve new year's day the whole family group chat just goes nuts wishing her happy birthday and she was like hey guys i was sleeping cuz i'm 22 years old and wild and crazy but uh yeah nothing much just kind of stayed here i got lots of stuff going on you know, in the home life, the Christine of it all, but it'll, it'll hopefully settle soon and get into a new normal and a new routine. And we'll go from there. How about you? Um, you're muted. I didn't, I didn't, there you go. (laughs) Dream, um, that I was dating Mitch, uh, because I played, I I fell asleep. I fell asleep to the 25 hour doathon last night. So he was just in my ear all night and it was a, it was a nice stream. We, we mm-hmm. weren't dating, but we definitely had crushes on each other, which I think is like the funnest part of any relationship is before you get together and realize how much you hate each other and you start breaking each other's souls down to just like a crisp. Oh, um, okay. Kind of like each other and it's all like flirty. It's fun. Mm. I'd like to just exist there for a Yeah. You don't actually touch me. I um, really have a whole bunch of crushes on me. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> what what it is? Is it the worst face? Is it the Ooh, bad also, salty I, attitude? The end of my dream is I confronted one of my junior high bullies, and my, I, I mean one of them. There was Ugh. many. Um, let's see here. Uh, Howie, his shell has hardened. I, I'm not. I'm not having a fantastic not, holiday not, season. Blah, 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 blah. I want to thank everyone. <laughs> for giving me mac and cheese recipes. I took a whole bunch of them and I kind of put them all together and it was banging. Put crab in there. Crab mac and cheese. Is that in yeah, honor just of like Howie? Can of, uh, no. That's where Howie should be Howie. in a can digested and like go <laughs> by by put the freaking oyster out of its misery already jesus um another update remember when we did cold case on trp which is total request pod um Do i remember you which guys one? all need to get into trp because we're doing something with it it's still there yes. we're, we're readjusting stuff we're just we're kind of just moving things around to different 
because now we have YouTube, TRP, love to hate TV. We're trying to make it a little bit more seamless. So unless it works for us. (laughs) Yeah, we both are working a lot now and um, yeah, yeah, it just needs to be like a little bit easier instead of like here or there and blah, 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 whatever. But uh, when we did Cold Case, you kept saying... Um, who does this guy sound like? One of the detectives or yes. something? Several people um, got back to us on different ven- um, oh, venues, outlets. And it's Jason Alexander. <gasps> Everyone said Jason Alexander. I don't even remember the voice, but I'm now telling you. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad it wasn't just me. Okay. Um, here we go. Um to, oh, I got we got an email from a girl who said that um, she uh, I'm not going to dox her. I don't know if she wants to be named, but she said she was watching me on the live and I had mentioned that I have Tourette's and she's like, oh, she's like, that looks like a lot of what I do. And then she went and got diagnosed with a tick disorder. Oh, my gosh. Like, so uh, who knew you know, like Macy people with Tourette's come mom. out? <laughs> Are you going to light it up? Uh, I think she light it up brown. What's the Tourette's <laughs> color? The Tourette's color should just be like blur because oh, you're like, you're like a little strobe light or something <laughs> a strobe light exactly a disco you should, ball you should light it up brown in calgary just like macy and teen mom lit it up teal for pcos awareness that one time <laughs> she lit up chattanooga and it was like four <laughs> restaurants were like yeah mm. sure but you're a little disorder. remember there were like little puck lights yeah on the corner of like a starbucks <laughs> so um, let's see what else um so i had a four um Christmas Eve, my aunt came over. No, not Christmas Eve. The day it doesn't matter. Friday, you my gave aunt her came the over. Day off? I did. Well, she did come over. We exchanged presents. She got me a um, premium AMA membership, which is like AAA. Oh, okay. Huh. So what does that, AMA like, stand for then? I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it's a sweet present. Okay. Because uh, anyway, so that was good. And she got me a bunch of other stuff but um but she it, we we sat and talked for like hours and she's like so tell me about um what's going on with sister wives and like do they own the property and I was like let me break it down for you and I like my eyes pretty much just glazed over and I just went dream to, like, of a come monologue. rescue me <laughs> I just, oh my god it was probably a 30 minute monologue where I was stating facts exact dollar amounts of things auntie debbie god <laughs> i love answer. her but yeah no she she wants to know and then my mom asked me the same question the next day at christmas eve she's like so break it down a little more for me and i had already you know rehearsed on my auntie debbie so i, I was able to you know edit a little bit yeah make it make it really good so i'm thinking about doing a session of the moth coming up um oh. where i'll tell this story of sister wives or what if we did like a tony robbins tour of just sister wives history and empowerment we could find christine's therapist bring her in to do a little workshop i mean i don't see i don't i don't want to be connected with the actual women because i think they would be so well, angry at us. i mean when i say do this i just mean like yeah, we're not yeah. actually leaving our houses <laughs> like i'm like we're ever gonna have you guys see us from here down i'm wearing my pajama pants right now so oh, i'm wearing shorts because i'm wearing s- sleeveys so it might get a little i mean hot, y- yeah you, you know? gotta you gotta adjust yeah get a regular walter back there and um i have it's just a list of um things that i watched over the past two weeks that okay. are all Awesome. Well, one's terrible. On Christmas Eve at my mom's house, we watched this Hillary Swank movie called um, Boys Don't Cry. No, what's the movie with Glenn Close? Oh, like Fatal. It was like kind of like Fatal Attraction, but it was called like Fatal. Oh, it was horrible. So don't watch that. It's on Netflix. Um, <clears throat> I watched all of a- Abbott Elementary season one. So good. You would love it. It's very much like The Office. I it's did watch like, that. Page oh, one. Love the principal is so fucking funny. Um, I watched all of The Bear, The Burr on Hulu. Remind me Plus. what that's supposed to be about. It's like just about like a kitchen. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Uh, like a restaurant kitchen. Awesome. Yeah. Loved it. Um, Severance. Have you seen Severance? It's so good. Mm-mm. With Adam Scott, it's very dystopian, and the concept is that it, when you go to work, you then you get out of work and your your memories erased. But then there's a work version of you that only exists at work, 
So they get in the elevator, the elevator closes, and then it just opens again and they're back at work. So it's kind of like a, it's very dystopian. It gave me nightmares for three days. It kind of sounds like that Black Mirror episode that you made me watch. It's very much like Black Mirror. Okay. Ish. Speaking of Black Mirror, there's also this show by BJ Novak, who I'm really having trouble getting on board with him and Mindy Kaling. Ugh. Like both of them are just oh, it's, oh it's getting very oh, dax low Zabek, You know. You know how she's like really tiny now? She's oh, Lozep. Like, yes. Okay. I didn't know the name of that. I drug. mean, don't think I didn't ask my own doctor when I went for my checkup last month for it. Um, uh. And uh, Emily the Criminal, which Justine recommended, it's on Netflix. It stars Aubrey Plaza. It's great. Easy watch. Great okay. hangover movie. Which is oh, it's a movie. Today. I thought it was a series. Movie. Okay. And I'm currently two episodes away from finishing A League of Their Own, which I don't understand why this isn't getting more recognition online. Yeah, I heard that it was pretty good. You would with, love uh, it. Please watch it with Abby Jacobson. Um, Kate Ber Berlant is in it. Um, Ro Rosie O'Donnell made um, a cameo, and I knew she was going to be in it, but she plays... Um, I guess a trans man who owns a bar. And I didn't even recognize that it was you Rosie. You said nothing. That was, that was Callie. Callie. But I didn't even recognize that it was her until I just heard the voice. But like they, the makeup they did on her and just like her mannerisms, I was very impressed. So League of Their Own might be my top recommendation. Okay. By the way, she's this changed her stance on Casey Anthony. She who? guilty. Oh, Rosie, Rosie has? She oh, watched okay. it and she was like, oh, I think I'll she's innocent, Rosie guys. She's got a lot of heat. <laughs> Okay, are uh, you ready? Yeah, we're we're at that time. Okay, so put a pin in dat and Boom. we're gonna how did you do that? How did you do that? What am I doing? I stopped Remember? my cam. Yeah, no, it's been a couple oh, weeks. Jesus. At the bottom there, you stopped. Okay, again. we'll be back. Let's see what you yeah. Oh nice. <laughs> God awful. Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello, boot lamp. Boot lamp alert! And where did you find that? I just typed in boot lamp. Well, here's I went through a whole thing last night where okay. I had <clears throat> had an idea. I was like, I, I want to give Jody a boot lamp for her birthday. Uh, <laughs> they're all so expensive though. Like I'm not spending ninety nine dollars for a joke that you will obviously not display anywhere in your house. <laughs> I mean, in actually, your office would be funny. Yeah, like, yeah. Actually, that would be like a perfect place for boot lamp. Let me tell you, this is like a thing. You type oh. in boot lamp, you're getting a whole plethora An of different actual boot people, lamp. People are like, like people are getting these. I bet you there's boot camp, boot camp, boot lamp collectors. Well, I mean, Janelle's. God, we watched an episode yesterday that that's on our Patreon right now. It was season five. Oh, it was the one with Colleen. 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 Oh, we better not say Colleen. that. We might get her copyright. Uh, I, yeah, I don't. Colleen, by the way, <laughs> that's where Mary clogged. got her inspo for her hair. Because Colleen, by the way. Oh, here. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Cody Yowza. is. there. If you want to see the one woman that Cody like might respect, that's. Oh, not, not that one. The well, do you see the hair comparison? Look. Yeah. OG. <coughs> Mary. Oof. Jesus. Oh, Handsome Mary. woman. Uh, but what was I even saying? Colleen, Cody. Just yeah, but really we were doing an episode yesterday her. and I boot forgot lamp. where I was going with that. Oh, the boot lamp. Good job. I, I'm I'm smoking. It's all I have, okay? All I have is my vape. Um, 
the boot lamp in in that episode there were like recorders like they recorders. used to were fifes they were like the boys they were, were like wooden fife they were whittling i thought they were whittling like but like, they were in little displays here yeah and then there was a third one that was added throughout the episode i need to get to the bottom of those fifes i think they were whittling like a trebuchet it was like a whittle your own trebuchet kit and they were halfway through or something because it was on okay. like a stand that could I don't know. <laughs> it's like, look at what I made. Look at right. this. Anyway. And she's um, like, put it next to the boot lamp. That's going next to the boot lamp. Go. I can't believe that I got through all of the pre-gaming that I wanted to. Because people get a little spicy about when we don't immediately talk about Sister Wives at 10 o'clock. Oh, Me like, people are spicy. But I wanted to ask one question. Are you seeing this TikTok trend? Uh, which I think is hilarious, where people are, like telling their family that like their favorite celebrity died. Yes, and, like, oh, I love it so much. So I wanted to ask, like, what do you think? Like, I guess if you were gonna do it to me or even for yourself, like, what would be the best celeb? Like, who, what would get the most crazy reaction out of you? Barbara Streisand. For me? For you? Yes. Oh, I I wouldn't care. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd be like her. Oh, I'm not like a stan. I just you think said that you love her because yeah, when I yeah, said like, her voice, like... I don't love it, and you were like, "Oh my gosh, I love her." No, I do love her, but I'm not like I don't like follow her or like. Okay, fine. Care what she's um, doing, but I think she's amazing. Mitch from the Doughboys. Oh God. Oh. Or like okay. Garfield or something. <laughs> Garfield passed. Um, I was I was wondering. I was speculating. Would it for both of us just be a member of the Brown family? I mean, like, that what if be... Cody Brown died? What Cody Brown dead at fifty five? I would guess. I mean, I would be like, what? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't I be mean, like, honestly, no. I would, I would drop if someone said Janelle or Christine. Though, I mean, like, God, knock on some wood right now. Like, don't. I'm superstitious like that. I mean, but I, don't you feel like in the past? Three, four days, people are just dropping like flies. Yeah, it's that rule of three with the celebs. Yeah, um, there was some um YouTuber with the little person Jean, I think. We had the okay. Pope, we had or a former Pope, Barbara John Walters. Paul? Who? John Paul, or the one that kind of got like that was only there for a couple of years. John Paul too was like that's old news. Well, he's right. gone. He's been gone for a while. No, so the one that was the one that was there. Yeah, the one that was there for just a couple of years. You got a bubble in your throat. You got a Tanya in your throat. <clears throat> yeah, no, I got to hurt it. Tanya. Um, let's see. Should we, should we oh. talk about what we're doing? And I'm going to let you explain it. Okay, so. Guys, get your sorry, notebooks out. I was just out. trying to read all your comments over here. Um, oh, gosh. Wait, hold on. Steve Carell. Justine just said Steve Carell. That would be yeah. rough. Yeah, no, yeah. Let's, let's keep talking about this because I do want to. Like, who, who else? Yeah, Steve Carell. What else do we consume, like, the most? Oh, thank yeah, you, Carl. guys. Let us know. Aw. Um, yeah, Betty White last year. <sighs> See, that wasn't shocking. Like, who, like, who are we constantly, like, I mean, the, the thing that lives in my head rent-free the most is Sister Wives, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the thing. We watch The Office, and we know The Office, but it's like, Anyone on there love Steve Carell, but if they said um, Jenna Fisher, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, wow, "Oh my god, what happened?" But but, but if it was like Cody Brown, uh, like the reaction would be Amber. For, see, but that don't, I, I hate to say this, that wouldn't be like that shocking. Maybe oh, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, come on, let's call Lin Manuel. Space. I mean, that, that would, would actually be, shocking. be very tragic. That would be really sad, yeah, because he has so much left to... Barbara Evans. How about... Uh... Kiefer. Yeah. Kiefer. That wouldn't be shocking either, though. How about James Corden? <laughs> oh, bye-bye. Anita Pointer died? Wait, is this for real? Like, the Pointer sisters? Should I have known this? Uh... You're, you're going to say who's the Pointer sisters, and I can't. I know the pointer sisters are okay, okay. They, in fact we're uh they get judged on rupaul's drag race i think season two or four. Oh, um okay um oh okay so real quickly before we get into sister wives so what we're going to be doing trp is going to stay there so if you're subscribed and you're 
you as know, it is, it exists. There's a $4 level and a $6 level. We're not changing that, but that's kind of all our back episodes. But also yeah. the episodes will go on. $4 there. So, tier is the ones that you guys request. $6 tier has all of those plus ones that Amanda and I have requested each other to watch throughout the past. I, I don't even know what three, four years, something insane. It was like 2019 that. that we did our first episode. Remember it was Amy's baking company. Yeah. Uh, the kitchen nightmares. Uh, so that's going to stay there. And uh, so you can always sign up there or Justine requested some Lizzie McGuire show. Yeah, I love how you, Lizzie that. McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. It's the Lizzie McGuire Christmas special. Just, oh, uh, okay. We're doing something oh. Lizzie McGuire. Well, I don't know. Yeah. It's the youth. You youth know. <laughs> and now, because, okay, so you know how Real Housewives of Salt Lake City really sucks? Yeah. Yeah. The worst. So we boring. So what we're going to do is... We're going to kind of leave TRP there. We're still going to post on it, but we're also going to kind of post that TRP episode in lieu of tier one. So TRP is now tier one, but it's TRP still also there. If you only want TRP, just stay in TRP. Yeah. If you don't want sister wives, I mean, what are you doing with your life? But I mean, okay. I don't know how you listen to, it's a whole part. It's part of the canon of us, but yeah. that's there. But now tier one is TRP. So if yeah. you used to be on TRP and sister wives, you can cancel TRP and then just be on sister yeah. wives and you're going to get it. Real high size of Salt Lake city. We will discuss on our love to hate everything episode. Now, <clears throat> So I hope that all makes sense. Well, we're still going to be doing every Sunday, these lives, probably around this time. Um, probably not four hours, but we'll at least probably do two, two and a half. And yeah, we'll, we'll talk, you know. but it'll kind of go back to how love to hate everything used to be at the beginning. So we'll just kind of, it'll be like a pregame talk mm -hmm. about pop culture, things going on in the news, uh, shows that we watch movies. Then we'll get into, we'll touch on Salt Lake city, I guess. Or whatever housewives show that we're kind yeah, of covering. Yeah, if there's some sick show that's on. Or, or Seeking Sister Wives, if that comes back. Right. And yeah. then, Michael. Michael. Then we will end, like not end, but like the last hour or so mm -hmm. will be a chapter each week of Becoming Sister Wives by that's right. the Brown family. <laughs> Right. So I, I, I looked it up and the, even Cody wrote the prologue, obviously. Oh, of course. And the he prologue, did. 18 pages. Yeah. 18 so, long winded pages about uh, Mormon right. religion. Right. Listen, we'll post this. We'll make a, a, a better kind of explanation of it. But in a nutshell, here on YouTube, you're going to get Love to Hate Everything, which is just going to be like a little pregame where we talk about whatever's going on, plus a little Housewives, plus the Brown Family book. <laughs> on Patreon, Love to Hate Ev or TV, it's going to be Sister the Wives? Brown Family Sister Wives saga of series that we're going through. Yeah. And... and a TRP yeah, show too. that you guys have requested or that we're requesting to each other. And it's only it's it's, this, it's the same catalog. TRP episode. We do one TRP episode. It goes on both channels. So if you want, it's all you got. Uh, and Melanie just asked Amanda, is this all on Patreon? <clears throat> TRP and the Sister Wives are on Patreon. That's over there. Sister Wives book will be on YouTube. So this, yeah. what we're watching now, this is where we will read the book. Yeah, we're that confusing all of you, but listen. It, it, It'll make sense. We'll post it. You know, you'll you'll get a visual. It'll be great. Um, all right. So, Amanda, what do we got going on here? Should we jump into? Well, we have to read. We have to read some Instagram, don't we? Oh God, I just got a CNN alert, and it says Canada's real estate crisis. What did you do? Well, I, you I'm give Auntie Debbie condo. one day off of work, <laughs> and now the whole real estate business is coming down. All right. Ooh, mm -hmm. starting today. The country is enacting a two-year ban on foreign investors who want to buy residential property following a surge in housing prices. In Canada? Nice. Yeah. Real nice, well, Amanda. My aunt said Real I can live nice. here until the day I die if I want. I'm like, that's pretty much Aww. my plan. I don't want to move again. Um, <clears throat> this is something that this is, a, this is wow. a project that I need to just like 
get i'm gonna go to the um the cannabis dispensary maybe this week get a really good something edible maybe and then this is the net, my next project is you guys i'm gonna have to go into my old wordpress account download every single episode how many episodes of amanda loves to hate teen mom are there oh no idea 100 at least i'm gonna have to download them and then re-upload them somewhere it might be on our patreon and i'll just keep them free or something but this will be a project i will be working on at some point but it's going to be a whole thing and i'm going to have to be like in a really good headspace mm -hmm. um okay are you on uh the instagrams um yes i was pulling up uh suki part two as well oh, so oh. Well, uh, people hey. have been commenting on Suki's uh, hey. Instagram a lot too, and she's having to like get, come back to people and like, no, like I am, I am trying because gotta say I'm not. I, I kind of want a different host next year too. People are, people are clamoring well, for her um, replacement. Yeah, I mean, my God, are you gonna go to Robin's or you want me to go to Robin? You go to. Um... I want to go to Cody because I found a few okay. good ones the other day. Okay. Okay, so Robin Brown's Nest, again, originally posted March 11th, 2019. How many comments total? Mm, 9,894. Wow, we're getting into like five digits soon. I see you, re you reply to Creepy Claude. <laughs> Shh, we need to remain cap in hand. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> I don't even remember writing that. Um, okay, so most recent, ooh, 59 seconds ago, hey, Cassandra Hall, careful. <laughs> it says, hi, Amanda and Jody. Hey, you little sneaky goose. <laughs> you guys are okay. so funny. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, okay, one hour ago. Gretchen okay. Hughes, and I will never watch a show with you and Cody. Only Christine and Janelle. Cody and Mary allowed the snake into the hen house. Four snake emojis. I think there's a lot of people that are watching it for the first time, and they think that they're coming up with these concepts, but they're like, I think Robin really ruined the family. <laughs> she might be the problem. I'm going to let hey, her hey, know. Hey. I think I see, that. I see what's going on here. I think she's actually not as nice as she's trying to make herself. <laughs> amazing God. um okay so i'm on it's fun sometimes to go back a few posts back because people they don't just go to the most recent one some people like to get creative uh -huh. so i'm on the post on cody's cody win brown when who is still not verified uh mm -hmm. it's an it's a picture of him saying i'm on cameo i'm on cameo yeah. i'm on cameo which like is only inviting uh you know, uh, okay, yeah, I'm on cam cameo. Um, okay, someone says, uh, who has four wives and doesn't fuck them? That <gasps> is the only advantage. He's obviously gay. Go pride, <gasps> rainbow emoji. <laughs> Go pride. I don't really, I still can't, I can't really figure out what this person's stand stance is on gay <laughs> yeah. rights, but it kind of took a turn halfway through there. Um, what has me rolling is that he refers to himself as a good man. A good man will understand that you do not fit in that group. All right. Mm. Okay, here's one. Cody, I believe you are a good man. Want another wife? No kids, but I'm a good wife. Who are you? What mm. what went wrong in your life, Marita Jacobs? Right. All right, also, PD Sanderson, we'll contact you. All the yearly subscribers, we, we have a way to figure that out. So we'll contact you. Yeah. We'll so no worries. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. We're not going to screw you guys out of money. We promise. Um, okay. So can I jump in here? Because yeah, anytime. Please do. Cole's, Cole's ethics is, I mean, fired up with Robin <laughs> four in a row 11 hours ago. Uh oh. Wait. This, this one's witty. Uh, Glove World is hiring Robin. The Krusty Krab is hiring Robin. The Chum Bucket is hiring Robin. Weenie Hut Jr. is hiring Robin. Got a comedian over here. Cole's got ethics. some double entendres going on over there. What was it? Weenie Hut Jr.? Yeah. I like that. Okay. okay. 
God. Okay, okay, I got one here. Uh, I, got, I got a few. <clears throat> oh my God. These are just so people funny. commenting on his like cameo picture. I can't stand the dopey expression on his face and that hair. <laughs> yeah, we all we're all aware oh, really? of Cody's hair. Oh my God, they're right. I never. <laughs> I actually hair. remember that the first time I mentioned like way at the beginning when we first started watching when I first finally was watching Sister Wife. I think the first time I said on our podcast. And I referred to Cody's hair as ramen like. I remember being like, that was really good. No <laughs> one's ever said that before. Like I genuinely thought that I was being really funny. And then I was and then I just started hearing it everyone. I was like, I am a loser. Okay, no. um, okay. And then the next person wrote, Your hair plugs suck. And then failure at its worst. Clap, 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 wow. clap. Wow. Oh, Cody, you make me cringe. You are sad for supposedly being a human. I mean, just <laughs> people from all walks of life. Burn. <laughs> you got any more? Thank you, Sarah. Oh my oh, god. Thank you, Sarah. Um, you got any good Robin ones over there? Oh, oh yeah. TJ Schmidt is real fired up. Okay, you know your breath is the pure scent of hell. Capitalized <laughs> hell. <laughs> Holy shit. The hey, that's one a, right after it. That's so. creative coming after the breath, at least. I can only imagine what the rest of you smells like. Fire emoji. Kitty cat emoji. Oh. I think I know what they're getting at. <laughs> I think I get it. It's not, not suitable for work. Okay. <laughs> oh, got, my God. I hope you realize that 99.9999% of people ask for cameos is to make fun of you. But holy shit, Cody, now that all of your wives that actually work are gone, you and Sobbin might have to get a job and then five crying laughing emojis. Yeah. Wow. Um, Even Cody's hair is divorcing him, someone wrote. <laughs> that's good. Oh, oh, listen. I mean, this one is a clever one. Look for joy. Why haven't you ever had a job since quote, joining the family, you need a nanny to care for your own children. What a hot take. <laughs> Drop <laughs> the mic. Wow. wow. I think Robin saw that and was like, huh, she's right. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, so we're, get, we're getting into the episode here, finally. Like, we're only 32 minutes in, actually. Um, okay. I have only watched half of this. In fact, I don't think that matters as much though with the tell alls. I think I, I I think it's fine that we're both kind of going in fresh. Okay. But what? What are you looking at? I, I was You're just checking out Sarah's comment here. Dispensary crawl. I didn't know that was a thing. Mm. Oh, they're talking about yes. Yeah, I need to. I need to be better at going and learning what learning the words the lingo basically yeah. now and i haven't i haven't bought for probably eight months but <clears throat> i'll go and i'll just be like i want to feel like happy but like not tired but like not like mm. super excited and they're like okay here this blueberry one looks good uh, okay but uh so we're gonna we're gonna start this but you are going i did watch half of it you're gonna get to see a whole montage of good times in the family but really it's a montage of aurora like Stop. it was made for us. It's a montage of like different hugs where Aurora's first celebrations. Cody coming out to his car for the Valentine's thing and Aurora like fucking like knocking him over from jumping on him. Whew, okay. <clears throat> no one Let's likes get all Aurora. Set here. Okay, one on one, part dieu. <laughs> season 17, episode 16. Oh, see what they did there? They're gonna do season 17, episode 17 as the finale finale. I'm just I'm, I'm making sure that my it, it's going through. Oh, the okay. Mic now. I thought what you were saying. Maybe. Okay. As the sit downs continue, the Browns reveal difficulties that go back decades. What? No, okay. that can't be right. <laughs> Including a short time where Janelle left the family. Oh God. The family discusses Cody's meltdown. Wait, they they must have missed an S there. Meltdowns. Uh, yeah. Right. Come okay. On. And Robin shares anger over the lack of support from her sister wives. Okay, Robin, that is rude. You are now you are not allowed to be angry about anything. You're not allowed to have that lack emotion. of support. Are you, <laughs> you're living in like an eight-bedroom house that you didn't pay for, right? 
<laughs> uh, Miriam says, "Good luck. You are going to be mad." Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> be prepared to learn nothing new. Okay, well, I mean, if we're, are we really ever tuning in? To, we're, we're really just. It's like we're. It's like we're the plot of Severance. We're just watching the mm. same episode over and over again, but we can't get enough. I love this. You know when you have to teach your dog not to jump up when somebody enters the house? No one taught Aurora. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Surprise, Robin's not kicking her all over the place because, you know, Robin <laughs> loves kicking dogs is where I was going with that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of, that's going to be our next episode. The dog that Robin lofted. Right, the dog the is finally Mary's. succumbing to the injuries yeah. and they're going to drive it down to Lehigh and it's like on its deathbed and bury it there and then move back to Las Vegas and never return to Lehigh. Wait, they brought the dead dog? Like, no, it was like still alive and then they like, I think they probably had it like euthanized and then they buried it. I hope it liked car rides. That's sad. Okay. I know. God. <sighs> um, okay. So where do you, do you want to start from? Yeah. Let's just start from the previously on or should we do, should we skip the recap? No, it's been a couple of weeks. Okay. Let's, okay. let's yeah. be yeah. reminded yeah. of all of this. Mm -hmm. All right. We are mm -hmm. at zero minutes and zero seconds. Let me turn this all the way up. Here we go. Previously on Sister Wives one on one. Initially, my issue was is I thought Christine was playing a game. Help me understand that. Manipulation, pouting, you know, temper tantrums. I mean, just just behavior things. I'm not a child. Yeah. I'm your wife. You don't talk to me like that. My bad behavior, that's just insulting. Please, I'm an adult. I think she finally reached the point where yeah, she knew that for her own happiness and self-preservation, she needed to do something. Do you feel like Christine left you? I felt very betrayed by her because she has always said, I didn't just want the man, I want the sister wives. She feels betrayed by you. She, you know, I she's know. using these really strong words. Why do you think she thinks that way? Because um, I ended the friendship. I ended the relationship. It just doesn't make sense to me that he would be so frustrated with Christine. And then he says, no, I don't consider myself married to Mary. Did you know there was a? I want to. I want to uh, uh, discuss Ma Mary's jeans that she's wearing because I just went through a whole like scenario in my head of her. The jeans she always chooses to wear <clears throat> are always. I almost feel like one size are too tight <laughs> yeah. to the point, and like, and they're really tight, like on the. Sorry, I got. I was getting tangled in my um. In my, oh, oh! In my chart. Well, I mean, talk my, about facts. My list. <laughs> Mary's jeans. Facts. Flexible. Yeah. Um, but um, like you wear jeans, they're really tight, like on the calf area. So yeah. like there is literally no way to take the jeans off, like straight down. You have to completely like once they're, Heel. once you're out of them, they're a completely inside out, <laughs> which oh. is just like so I mean, gross. She's, she can't bend like, you just her feel legs. Awful. In fact, that's why she had to buy a house with an elevator because there's no way she can bend her legs going upstairs. <laughs> yeah, God. It's like Barbie legs. Like, that's how she has to walk. They're tight. When is the skinny jeans trend going to end? I mean, I don't I know. I think supposedly. I don't look good in jeans either way. I think but. there's a difference between, like, skinny jeans and, like, a straight jean. I love to flare jean. They're, oh, those are back. Like the bootleg flares. Well, are back. Ma Meredith Marks on Salt Lake City has been bringing back flared pants for oh hers. For three no, seasons. she truly has. Um, what do you call them? Uh, fl floods. Hers are floods. Flutters. A point in the past where he thought about reconciling. I I don't know what you're talking about. I was no longer angry with her. Oh, by the way, you're going to get to not just in the recap here. Yeah, we're going to relive. They're going. They chose. They choose to re-air him reaching across and being baby. I don't like me that. and Mary could work. I don't like. We might. They're trolling. I don't like baby babe. TLC mm -hmm. is troll. They got a group of trolls on that editing bay. For what have I gone through in my life with her? The one-on-one -on -one conversations continue. Hey, Cam, Mark. As I talk individually with Janelle, Mary, Robin, Christine. And Cody. How are you? I'm well. How are you? To discuss the events that have shaped their lives. Why isn't there an openness to talk and help? Because the relationships aren't good. It's, it's that simple. 
she was at my house and she was falling apart and i feel so bad i don't want to talk bad about her that could have changed oh you know oh, oh you don't want to i think there's a, like an easy solution for when you don't want to talk about someone what's what would you do then if you don't want to talk bad about someone how could you follow through on that it's hard to say i got nothing I mean, you kind of, you have to, I mean, you're forced you, to. You have to. You I mean, look how aggressive Suki under is. Under your head. Oh, she's yeah. like, <laughs> she's like leaning back. She's have like, to uh -huh. tell me the truth. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. God. I mean, we all know hard hitting journalism here. <laughs> God. The whole trajectory of Mary's life. Yeah. It sucks, right? It's really absolutely frustrating and offensive right now. That's a lie. I would never do that. Robin yes, that that's a lie, Christina. Robin. Like, Stop doing that. Yeah. Stop groveling. Because she <laughs> talked the two of you, too. He's having like a full temper tantrum. Oh, my God. It is so easy to get him riled up, dude. Oh, God. I mean, he is the bitchiest of all bitches. Just, oh, how do you look at that and be like, oh, yeah. My man, my king. I'm you know what I <laughs> Cody. Mm. So I was, th I was imagining like, what if me and Jody could interview him? But I think we're both also just too passive and like to really like scream at him. I mean, I, I don't know. But then I, then I thought, who, who maybe a group of two women that would work? I think Julie and Brandy would be great. <gasps> They would. He would, he would not. He would not know what to do. Julie Brandy, dumb gay politics. They were on yeah. the people's couch. They're hilarious. Um. Oh my god. Oh no, he wouldn't. I mean, because Julie is obviously she's a lesbian. Yeah. And he just wouldn't know how to deal. Like, and she's very masculine, like lesbian. So yeah. he would. He, and, and she has definitely has more like testosterone, like, but also more like normal testosterone levels than Cody. But like, he would be so intimidated right. by her. Yeah, and Julie's like super hot, or I mean, uh, but Brandy. also like well, Julie is too. But like Brandy's super hot. He would his mind would explode. Yeah, for be, sure. like hot woman, but also smart, faster wit, mean. Uh, uh, he would explode. That would be amazing. Yeah, it would just. I would be and mocking they, him too much. They would feel like, comfortable. Oh, oh, oh you're oh. getting mad. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're angry. But I mean, we'd be able to pull out the reference. If he'd, be, he'd be like, that that didn't happen. We'd be like, season four, episode two, <laughs> about 26 minutes in. <laughs> you pull out your chart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Cody, you recognize this? Okay. Uh, okay. He's like, it was a sacrifice to love her. No wife wants to hear that. Yeah. How did you feel when he said all those things? I was so shocked. Before I even fell in love with Cody, I fell in love with a family in the family. That's a lie because even in your book, you didn't even That's meet a lie. Christina. Gen That's a lie. That's a lie. You know, I just don't communicate. She mm. was dating Mary and Cody for like a while before the other wives even like were introduced yep. to this idea. So good lie, Robin. Yep. So remember that there is a book. Do and none of them seem to remember that there is a book. Nope. And then they're gonna they're gonna discuss the shocking revelation that Janelle left the family for a couple years no I had no idea nope none of us knew that hmm it's like sakanya all of us that are tuning in to watch this garbage we know all yeah, of we these know yeah. exactly what all of you are we saying know. in the comments this is supposed to be a tell all yeah. not a like a retell tell us a things tell we've known for years Ugh. Okay. culture of one big happy family it's something that i am like mourning all the time until they took it away they took it away from me Ooh, robin matched her fingernails to her to her blazer ah uh, and also like dusty I think rose shirt what cody's shirt his dress shirt under there oh cody let's match it's robin Ooh. the favorite wife you know that's the most unfair question who doesn't deserve it you know She's so loyal to him, it's ridiculous. She was. Is it love? <laughs> At this point, no. It's not. So are you separated? My butt this cheeks just got really clenched. This is Sister Wives one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you? All right. Let's, I, uh, people are leaving really good comments here. So let's, yeah. let's scroll up and see if we need to address anything. When did Janelle leave Jane Hudson? I don't know if you're being sarcastic or if you're genuinely just a new um, 
a, a, a you know a bebe i guess in yeah. terms of, of your of, an, of sister wives obsession but like before robin came into the family <clears throat> obviously after they all were living in wyoming and then cody wanted to move to lehigh and janelle was like nope bye so mm-hmm. she stayed in wyoming and she had a job she's going to talk about it in this episode actually and then oh, they God. left and then then this does not this gets glazed over but jody told me that um she had like an inheritance right her dad died left some money and weird cody found this perfect house for them in lehigh which would solve all of their problems but there was that um god what was it that he needed oh money money do you want me to get the chart out yeah so explain how that happens with the housing so, market so janelle's in wyoming gonna... well you should get out your map yeah. <laughs> so janelle's <laughs> it's so been a couple crazy. weeks so sorry guys a little it. rusty so janelle's wyoming, in wyoming of course is right here yep obviously where yep. port where oregon should be um oregon's there idaho no i'm we used to be that blue one and the market down in lehigh which is where salt lake city utah Sh- yep. i think it's lower than that market was here and janelle had the money she had to be so flexible. she had to come down here yeah before the market would go went like this the market was yeah. doing this she had to go now now is this so, backwards? No. Oh, mine. see, it looks backwards. On no. Okay. So anyway, I hope that made sense. Janelle, <laughs> Cody needed Janelle's inheritance money for them to buy the house in Lehigh, the one that we see at the beginning of the series. She bought that house, which is why she got the bigger half. She got like that whole half of the house because she bought the house. Uh huh. Yeah. Weird. Cody was like really missed her after he found that house. Oh, I <laughs> Yeah. Uh sorry. Yeah, Joe in Salt Lake City says, "Can we get a man to explain? I'm not following. I'm sorry. Oh, I just... know that's why we try to have like visual aids because, like, lady brain. Yeah, uh, I don't even know how the two of us are surviving right now without men constantly around us to mansplain things to us. I know. I don't know yeah. how I get through a day in my life. Oh, sorry. I mean, I just like I, I wasn't <laughs> able to focus because. You started thinking about shopping. I know. And I was like pink, purple. I like puppies. <laughs> Balloons. All right. Um, so here we go. We're going. We're starting. Okay. We're starting. We're about to watch about 15 minutes of basically everything we saw in the last episode. So mm-hmm. really cool. okay. oh, there was a moment in the past that he actually spoke to me about where he thought about reconciling. That there was a family get together and that Christine found out about it and christine balked at a reconciliation i i don't know what you're talking about she balked at a reconciliation with you me and, yeah me and cody yeah i never knew about that moment with him and i never knew about the moment with christine until you just told me because it never happened Proof. i was willing to see the error of my ways okay and then work to determine whether we were good with each other anymore Wow. And so I expressed that. <sighs> oh, baby, it's okay. Mary and I can work. I hate that I know what Cody's tongue looks like. <laughs> I hate that I've seen Cody's tongue more than I've seen your tongue stick out. God. <laughs> what the fuck? That know, fake cry it. is so bad. It's so bad that he well, thinks anyone actually believes this. Here's fake... him assaulting, assaulting Sukanya. Baby! And she's like, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know what you're yeah, doing. she don't thought he was saying something else. Like, oh, hey, I need to get up to go to the bathroom. Like, oh, you're not. Oh, oh, you're like. <laughs> I need to take still a performing. Okay. Get out, baby. You know, I mean, like, I'm going like that with these three women, and it just rattles Christine. So there was something there, and it was right after that time. I, I had just shown them the plans for the one house, and it probably upset Christine there, and one thing led to another, and then I'm talking about reconciling with Marion, and there's something in their relationship that Christine went, I can't do that. 
Oh, he told you. He told me. Oh, he told you. Now I'm going to readjust everything on my book. Cody can't keep his mouth shut. I had, so I had no idea what he was going to say. I had no, he didn't. We don't discuss this stuff before. <laughs> See, charming. I didn't know. I told you. He just always yeah, keeps me guessing. I just like, I never know how he's going to feel or react. God, oh. She's so excited to tell. She's like, oh, yeah. Here, she's here such go. a manipulative bitch. God. How did we not okay, see this? Like Christine had a very hard time with it. Yeah. And did not want Mary to reconcile with Cody. That's what I was told, too. That's what I was told. So you oh. weren't there for this conversation with all four wives. All th the three wives. Well, she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to talk about it. She doesn't want to talk bad about Christine. But do you remember? Oh, I don't want to talk about Christine. I feel right, so yeah. bad. <clears throat> do you remember last episode though? The last fall, she said. Uh, Cody said, "I sat down with all three. Well, that's where he stuck his tongue out when he was having a <laughs> memory. <laughs> he had like a hairball. God. Yeah, it's like you had like a hair, but like a hair Sick. like his throat. But he said, "I sat down with all three of them." Robin remembers this. I'm and I'm, I'm, but now that's what I was told. Robin, I was said. told, yeah, she said she was having a breakdown at my house. Well, no, and now crying. she's about to say that, like, there was another, there was actually one time where Christine was like crying at my house. So she's saying, oh, that must have been that, mm. not the plethora of other things that Christine could possibly, you know, Rob, be freaking out about. on the other side of her ugly colored walls just like listening in what the hell is going oh, on between yeah yeah, Chris. yeah what did you say uh i didn't know this was connected to it but i guess she was falling apart she was at my house and she was falling apart and i feel so bad i don't want to talk bad about her but i just saw but, her kind of but i don't out. want to talk bad about her but i mean have you seen christine like do you feel her energy she just oh Whoa, Even her awesome. body language, like that hand over the mouth is very, I'm telling a lie. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Somebody posted in our group um, the other day. Oh, God, I see if I can find it. It was actually really fascinating. And then I, I sat in my bed and was like doing it. And it was like, <clears throat> it was like a face. And then it said like, where your eyes look. If you're remembering oh, like if a you're real lying, memory, if... you look up there. If you're making up a memory, you look there. If there's like, a, if you're remembering a sound of someone talking, you look like this way or straight out this way if you're lying. Mm -hmm. And there's another one where you look straight like down to the right or left. I forget what it is. But, well, I'm screwed because yeah. I'm pretty sure I, I have a lazy eye sometimes. Well, I mean, with my Tourette's, you don't know where I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> Lock her up. Lock her up. <laughs> Uh, Mal Ma Mali redeemed. Well, I was reading a oh, 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 thing oh. that was just up there. Um, where'd it go? Oh, she did. Uh, this person Suki. said, I, I want to fight Suki. She's doing the worst. Well, yeah, she really is. The, needed to be said. the worst. <laughs> oh, God, you guys, I mean, like, honestly, I want to just click on every single comment and because you're all absolutely correct. <laughs> all right, there's 700 people in here. Let's get ready to. Smash that like. If you have a problem with us doing that, sorry. We'll do it a couple more times throughout oh, the rest yeah. of the episode. Oh, yeah. We got a review on our podcast. They do not <laughs> like that. Smash that like. <laughs> it was actually aimed towards you. Oh, I yeah. somehow got out of that. It's I don't clear. need to do that annoying. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, actually, we kind of do because easy, this okay? is literally like our job. So, like, <laughs> we'd love to get a couple more likes. People so get can... very, very offended by our breathing, <laughs> our talking. I tried to watch you guys for 15 minutes, but then you didn't even talk about Sister Wise, so I had to do. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the one that was like, well, there goes like, um, I don't have two hours in my day to listen to this. Oh, Stop I'm bringing sorry. up your childhood memories. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Would you like us to personally edit an episode just for you? Somebody actually did ask us to, if we can put out um, PG versions oh, of the whole expletive free one. Like, you're what you're listening and we're talking about sister wives so that's kind of impossible sorry i think it would be really fun to sit and just edit out every swear that wouldn't take yeah. what four hours well we could do like a, a pg a pg 13 
an R and then like an, right. an unra- unrated. <laughs> Yeah, uh, unrated. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, okay. this is pretty much unrated. Okay, anyway, there we go. And I didn't right. know what it was about. Do you think if Christine didn't object that Mary and Cody would have gotten back together? They would have reconciled and they would have had a little bit more of a relationship? Uh, yeah. Because oh. when Cody says and thinks that type of stuff, it usually happens. Okay, stop. Um, oh, why? It was stops. Wasn't she the one last year that said... Cody is not one to be told by his wives to do she anything. She did say that, in fact, Jody. And I mean, as we know of Cody, of all of his wives to say something, if Christine says it, he's absolutely going to do it. Oh, yeah. like what Christine says. They have a great, healthy goes. relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Therein lies the problem. How can you look at Cody and Mary and be like, yeah, I think I think they were going to really work those kids, those crazy kids. Yeah. Right off into the mean, sunset together. Robin was the one who was like, oh, go give, go give Mary a s'more. She's lonely over there. Go <laughs> give the old gal something to or eat. Or when Mary was like, yeah, Cody like, like called me the other day and Robin's like, that's a window. That's a window, yeah, Mary. Yeah. Just keep working on it. Yeah. Just stay in your house all alone. Just keep. If you don't mind, can I just see your tax there. return from last year with Little Rose? You could just, or last yeah. month, if I could just. Yeep. Okay. Yeah. Mm. God, what a bitch. Wow. <laughs> that could have changed the whole trajectory of Mary's life. Yeah. God, Robin went full beaker face right there. Fire. Her mouth was like down in her neck. It sucks, right? That's really actually frustrating and offensive right now. There's no way I would not support him and Mary having a great relationship if that's what they both want. I really do believe that. I I think that if, I think if Robin and Cody were having problems, Christine would totally support them never getting back together. Oh, Like, I believe that. I think they all would. But Mary, like, I think Mary was there from the beginning. And I think Christine does respect that. Yes. And Mary's it, actually her family where Robin is like, you don't go here. Oh, you definitely don't go here. And I think Christine knows that Mary happy with Cody would be the best thing that could ever happen because then Mary won't be a massive bitch all the time. Well, I don't like know. About to, well, it would be like something to distract Mary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, take a little edge off or something but we we do get into a full section here that i did see just this mary bashing se- session and cody is just letting it just <gasps> fucking flow out of him like a guy well, no, no, no 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 that that can't be right because when cody says that he wants to get back with mary he means it Robin also told us that. cody doesn't he's not really in the habit of discussing his personal issues with his wives with other people okay. he, he likes to keep that tight well robin Locked had no idea him. oh he told you that oh Crazy, Cody. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's weird. Yeah, something's not adding up here, but mm. I have a feeling Christine's somehow at fault for everything, though. That's what I'm getting. That's what Cody Obviously. wants us to do. Ted, that's absolutely ridiculous. But I have Robin all... also says that she walked into the tail end of that conversation, so even Robin kind of it. knew about it, but not all the nuances surrounding it. I think that there was something that was twisted, in that there's no way I would have ever felt like that. I don't feel like that. And I am so frustrated that he just doesn't know me. That he would make that allegation? That he would twist my words to somehow think that I would say anything like that. And that he would say that and spread that lie is what's frustrating. That's- I'm glad she came out and just said lie. it's a lie. Yeah. Like instead of skirting around it. Like Kasuki's like, oh, that allegation. And Christine's like, no is a lie yeah i wouldn't say that and also that she's like something must have gotten twisted i think that's like robin robin got is twisting your words and my words to make it sound like something that never happened isn't it so fascinating how like the dumbest people aka (sighs) robin can be so smart in their manipulation like it, i wonder what that is it's got to be a study done on that right because they've been doing it their entire life but they shouldn't be that self-aware or like socially aware because robin's terrible in a social situation she's like just unlikable completely 
because they know how to change other people's minds, but they're not smart enough to like change themselves oh and God. too lazy to change to themselves. Studied. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, so Michelle... Up at the, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Their time frames for this reconciliation lies. He said he reconsidered getting back with Mary at their horrible anniversary in 2020. Right. Then Christine blew up at a big house event in 2018. Hmm. Oh, That's you know sad. what we also didn't catch two weeks ago? That I'm pissed that we didn't because we know we know dates. Have dates. But we know dates. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Cody in the tell all last week, he named two different times. He said, it was my birthday and Mary had given me a really great present. Then they circled back to that later. And all of a sudden now it was their anniversary Rice crispy date. But he originally in the first segment said it was my birthday and Mary got me a really cool present. I think that's what he actually meant because there's no way the Rice Krispie date was the time that he was considering getting back with her because he was so awkward on that yeah. day. I think it was the birthday, but he couldn't remember what the gift was because he's like, she got me a really, or it was a, no, I think it was a gun. I think that's what it was. Maybe he didn't want to say that he, she got me a gun. Oh God. Okay. So hold on a second. We need to look up what's their anniversary. And what's his birthday? Like how close are those? So let me, I'm going to look this up. Okay. So Cody well, their, Brown... their anniversary is a day after Janelle's. Oh no. Janelle. Janelle and Cody got married a day after Mary's birthday. Okay. So Cody Br Wynn Brown, January 17th, 1969. Oh my Remember when God. Robin and Cody looked at each they other? Had a little, yeah. Cause they have sex. Okay. We have January 17th. All right. So now. <laughs> Cody. His birthday Brown. is in January, Melanie Gore is saying. That's right. It yeah, is in January, January 17th. Okay. Um, Mary Brown anniversary. I feel like we should know this. I'm feeling like a July. Well, um, they went on their anniversary to when they went to that La something. We did an episode. We did that episode with uh, Surviving Sister Wives where they go yeah, out to that it? really if nice. You guys are restaurant. quicker. Let's see. I'll try this again. Mary Brown wedding. Yeah. Beakerface date, agrees with maybe. me that it, it's he's he doesn't want he's using euphemisms to describe his business sporting goods. Yeah. Oh, let's okay, see. Okay, what's their anniversary? April twenty first, nineteen ninety, and to September twenty fifth, two thousand fourteen. So April, so January to April. I mean, that's not. So the birthday was after, or before. Oh, the birthday was before. Okay. Got it. Mm, okay. I don't know. I what mean, we it doesn't. There, I don't even know why it. we're trying to break it down because it's all just a lie. Yeah. <laughs> like we're that crazy that we're breaking down the lie. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's a lie. That's not me. I would never do that. So I asked Christine to clarify because she really didn't remember the story. And she actually feels that she would never stop a reconciliation between you and Cody. That's nice to know that that's how she feels. Yeah. I don't know what happened with their conversation. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know Cody's perspective on, I've never heard this out of his mouth. I've never heard this out of Christine's mouth. Um, it's curious that Christine doesn't remember anything about it at all. So I literally have no idea. You Robin know, this does is, remember it. Robin does Robin remember does. it. Yeah. Interesting. I think it was a moment that he wanted to. See, this is where I'm, mm. I was, I was on Sukanya's side all the way up until this episode. And now I really do feel like she's stirring up shit. Oh, she's stirring up shit and she's just taking his side. Yeah. Like, and I know oh, that everything um, he's saying has got to be facts. No, come on. Who's our listener. That was the, the host. Uh, she, she used to be, a, or she is a host. Oh, Debbie. Yeah. So no, Debbie Gutierrez. Um, she posted on our Facebook group about how she, she hosts stuff like this. And she's like, you have to kind of make them think you're on their side because they'll storm out, blah, blah, blah. But I, and I agree with that, but, but after, I still think Suki's being bad at this. Yeah. After she can come clean. Come on. Hang on. I want to go to Sukanya's um, Instagram because people are like really going in on her and we follow her now, by the way. Yeah, people well, I mean, are like really, get that. And she's having I mean, to respond and stuff. I mean, I could see that when she's talking with him, just being like, okay, like letting him say whatever he needs to say. But then when Christine is saying, yeah, that was a lie, 
she should have been like, you know, why do you think he lied about it? Or, or what, what is the truth of it then? Or whatever it might be. Instead of just being like, I don't know, Christine. Why and then he? saying, and saying to Robin stuff like, um, like that would have changed the whole trajectory of the family. Right. Oh, that would have been great. Okay. So somebody wrote like, why are you giving Robin and Cody all these softballs? And Suki wrote back. I don't think I did. Listen, I can't go out there making accusations. I have to unpack this mess. It's very complicated. And for the first time people are owning up to their inactions. It's been many years and then I can't read the rest of it, mm. but okay. But you are, you're still, it's still too many uh, softballs. And then somebody um, somebody wrote something and she wrote back, I do not support or favor Cody and Robin. So that's something at least that I, she doesn't support them. Um, the yeah. first part was his total denial that his marriage to Christine was over. I asked Janelle more questions than um, that for the first she answered. So she's, I guess she's saying like, no, I don't. And, She's blaming editing. She's like, we talk for hours and hours, and this is all they choose to put together. Yeah. But I think I don't they, know about that. TLC would air, I think, if she got him. Yeah. Really well. I think they would show something with that. TTA, I love this. We need Pierce Morgan, a total douchebag. Yes. You kind of do need someone in there that's going to not give a crap whether they come off like an a hole or not with the questions I mean, that they ask. I mean, I hate saying it, but it should be a man because Cody doesn't respect women. So, I mean, you would get further with mm -hmm. a man that Cody respects. Yeah. Like, because who's a he, man you, you think, think Cody, Cody would, would be really like, respect? I said, baby. <laughs> well, he would never do that with a man. God, I right? hate it. Ugh. He would never feign tears in front of a man. A, a fellow man. bra. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Like. I'm trying to think of like a really like a man that Cody like really like looks up to that's living. Mitch McConnell. Um, do you, like, do you think? Steve Bannon. Uh, I mean, not even, not even like politically, but like, well, I know, but an actor or something. Um, oh, oh, I was gonna say Bruce Willis, but he's not doing too well. Um, <laughs> Okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, he he's probably works liberal. out to Paca Bell. No. <laughs> you just have like someone in his head that's like, Arnold. he's like, show me, your, show me your Hulk Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, I feel like he would, he would grow up watching that. Oh, cause he loves wrestling. He loves watching <laughs> the balls right in the face. Oh, right up there. <laughs> five on two. Balls. I know Cody oh. is a fan of Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah, I know he follows Kyle Rittenhouse. I know. Oh wait, he really no. does. Yeah, that's like been a thing for like. The past oh year. I've god, seen it. I've seen it everywhere. Okay, Vicky, I think you hit the nail on the head here. Bill O'Reilly. Yup. Don't Bill. really know anything about the person. Chuck Norris. Doctor Phil. Doctor <laughs> Phil, I think could maybe. <gasps> Doctor Phil would be good, right? Doctor. Yeah. Oh, and, but, but I don't want this to be... turn into a political debate over here. Like, I don't care what your politics oh, are. Oh, no. So but I mean, it's just, don't, don't yell at each other. Funny, but it is funny. It is funny. Yeah, it uh, is Dr. Funny. Drew. Dr. Drew would be such a D. Oh, he'd be like, no, Christine. Dr. Drew would, would, would soft. I think I really Dr. Think Drew is give him another key. shot. Uh, exactly. Know, Christine. I yeah. think he really does love you. Mm. Yeah, because Doctor Drew is a low-key woman hater, I th or, or he doesn't respect women, or and he is a lot more. He's less liberal well, than because we're dumb dumbs. We're, dumb, we're stupid, and he's a doctor, <laughs> <laughs> and he has triplets. That's such a weird dynamic that I picture Doc Doctor Drew with triplets. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, he loved it. He loved it. Chris Hansen, mm. Judge Judy. Uh, no, it's a oh. woman though. Don. I mean, you, you missed the point that she's Yeah, a but she's woman. not going to take any guff. No, sir. Yeah, I think she could actually yell louder than Cody. <laughs> yeah, this is her Jimmy playground. Kimmel. Okay, this Pierce Morgan. Playground. People are, I, I think Pierce Morgan would be good. Ooh, or um, Psychic yeah. medium Lisa Williams. I don't know her. I don't know Do her you either. Know her? You look Paul her Newman, up. Bounty hunter guy. Dog the <gasps> bounty hunter. Dog, I missed that show. Not going to lie. His best Leland. friend, Ken. What? Cody's best friend, Ken. Oh, <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's proceed. Oh, well, Sorry. I was on uh, Suki's 
Instagram page. <laughs> it's a little heartbreaking to me because because of the fact that he could have given us a chance. And now two years later, he is like, absolutely not, you know, because I have spent a lot of years full of hope, you know, really looking inward and figuring myself out and becoming a better person and Ooh. just hoping that that was good enough. But it's not like he's he actually said those words to me that that's not good enough. <gasps> it's hurtful, you know, it's, it, but it also is what it is. So God, can you imagine like trying, like making an active, well, I don't know how much Mary was really doing, but like really trying to change and be better. And then the person saying that's still not good enough. How much that would like break down your soul. Yeah. But it's like, how many times does he have to say, I'm not that into you. I'm not coming. She Leave. said, I'm not coming. Mary I'm remembers like, that though, because she quoted that last episode. I don't consider myself married to you anymore. You can leave. What else do you need to hear? Well, later in this episode, well, no, I won't, I won't spoil it. There's like he he says something kind of in passing that we'll see. Do you oh. get to sit with all this and then you get to decide, like Christine has decided to walk away? I think Cody's already decided. So we yeah. have a lot of history and I love him. And he has chosen not to love me and not to want a relationship with me. Then leave though. Like exactly. I don't get I don't get it even now. Even like you know that the sh you can still be on the show if you leave. Christine's still and on the you show. You're divorced. You like, are divorced. It's not that complicated anymore. Like, I just do you think she likes being the victim? I mean, that's what a lot of people say that she just loves to be she Yes. I yeah, I think that, and I think. But this it is does kind of serve her to be on the show. But she can still be on the show. Christine's still on the show. And Janelle left and she's still on the show. And I think maybe she's just not going to do whatever Christine and Janelle does. She's not going to do it. Just because they did it, she's not going to do it now. Yeah, she would cut off her nose to spite her face. Um, yeah. Christine, by the way, on TikTok a few days ago, posted... Like, well, that's a wrap, and it's my last day ever filming in Flagstaff, and and chapter ends, but a new chapter begins, and then everyone freaked the fuck out because they thought that she was saying that she's leaving the show. But then she posted another one saying, This is my basement in my house. I saw in that one. Utah. Yeah. She's like, Don't worry. I told I promised Cody that I would not leave the show as long as it's on. Again, proving that all Cody cares about is his money and his fame. And not having to actually work that $200 an hour, right? God, it's a cameo. Yeah. Um, well, and the gun shows. But uh, he, I, I would love, I would love to get uh, get my little eyes on um, their contracts. Like, on, like, their most recent contracts. How much, like, how much Dad Sark gets. Oh, I was gonna say, I bet you Cody and Robin would love to get their hands on what Christine and Janelle are going to be making. Oh, I would, I, I would love to watch them see how much they're getting. Mm -hmm. Cody, that's not fair. They weren't loyal to you and they're getting paid so much. Cody. Yeah. Oh God. How good would that be? They get paid more than them. Oh, it feels so like, good. If we had three wishes, we would just piss mm -hmm. them away on shit like this. Oh, fly I want to see on Cody's the wall. Records. What? Oh yeah. Like a fly on the wall in there, in mm -hmm. that house. Or yeah. like a watermelon on the floor, if you will, in that house. And then <laughs> also to... The things that watermelon has seen and heard. Oh, if that oh, watermelon can talk. Yeah. And then I would also like to have Robin's ex-husband spill Jessup. those beans. Oh, you mean Cody's yeah. cousin, Cody's third cousin and Christine's first cousin? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then what else? What else? Oh, maybe what, like what would your other Robin's makeup arsenal. Um, Just to see, like, what is she working with in there that makes her go grab that eyebrow? <laughs> I would love to see her most recent, like, Amazon purchases. And just see how random they are. Because she definitely will buy something and then it'll say other things you might like. And she just going into a fucking rabbit hole of products. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you know what? Yeah. Let's interview the Amazon Prime delivery truck driver. How many days a week are you delivering goods to the house? God, and he probably has to like, QBC they probably make bill. him like park at the end of the block and then like oh, walk yeah. all the way up. There's too much because yeah. there's too many cars up there already. All right. Me and so far as to consider himself not married to me. So I think that's what we're sitting with. Okay, so S- Sandy says, what if we are all being played to get ratings and this is all BS? That would be, I would be like impressed. Mm-hmm. Cody and Robin are not that good actors. They're not that smart. I mean, we've seen Robin pretend to cry. And Cody's way too vindictive. And he's way too self-conscious to purposely make himself look There's so no stupid. way they could have, you know what I'd compare this to? i compare this to that phenomenon of how Dark Side of the Moon lines up with Wizard of Oz. Oh. And like people are like, well, they did that on purpose. I'm like, no, there's just it's just one of those random things that just yeah. happens. There's no way, there's no way they could have done that. Um, and I think that's how Sister Wives is. There, there's no way we could have predicted that this is that it would turn into the greatest reality show, the in greatest history. documentary series of all yeah. time. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. I don't greatest... know what just made me think of uh three men and a baby, that ghost. ghost boy in the window. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, speaking of Ted Danson, I, I, I know. Chills. Yeah. I used to go on Snopes.com all the time when I was in high school and look up all the theories. Oh, we had a Girl Scout brownie sleepover and we watched it and we were like, <laughs> we all like screamed and we're like, oh my God. Speaking of Ted Danson, um, I've been watching The Good Place, The Geed Place. Oh, Geed. did you like it? No, it's really good. You would like it. It's only four seasons. Mm. Um, Wasn't that good? T- I, I, it. I, I don't know if I want to tell this story because it's going to make me sound like a huge asshole. Do okay. it. Do it. Okay. So Snopes.com. I I probably have told this before. Uh, Snopes, and this is like in high school where like you have to like, where you're waiting 10 minutes before a page downloads. Oh, and like, sure, sure. You know, like the interface of the thing. It's 1990. You're like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and then just like the whole page is blue written in like, you know, like cutesy oh, cartoon. Yeah. Okay. So, but one of the. um. Uh, urban legends that I read was like, because Snopes will do it and then it'll say if it's true, untrue, or like not not sure. And one of them was like that Mariah Carey has like a five octave range. And I, oh, this is getting spicy, guys. This is so good. And again, I was in, I was like at the height of my like music theater loving geek. Okay, like okay. I personally wrote an email into Snopes.com saying, no, she doesn't. That would be impossible. It's physically <gasps> impossible. And they wrote me back and they said, thank you. Thank you for letting us know. We'll update it. And they never updated it. What? I checked, I checked often. Yeah. I am a loser. <laughs> Who does that? Was I feeling threatened by Mariah Carey for some reason? I think so. I think, I think so. I was threatened. <laughs> yeah, we're really the same type. We'd be really going up for the same uh, gigs. Yeah, yeah. I know PD Sitter said it's a cardboard cutout, but yeah. at the time when I was it's, a it's youth, funner to it's funner. You, you can't pause the VCR that quickly, like you can on a DVR. So and when you like... do, it's like <laughs> exactly. It's like zigzag. <laughs> um. Hey, you know what else is a really good um Michael. Michael. Stevie Wonder's not really blind. <gasps> That's that is so good. It's my favorite because it's not really hurting anyone. To like, I didn't believe it. It would so be cool as what fuck. was it? The White House. There's like a White House video where Paul McCartney you made me singing. Watch it. Paul McCartney sing. I mean, you can just type it in. Um, Stevie Wonder blind. Like it'll yeah. there'll be a shit ton of. But it's like uh, uh, you could type in Stevie Wonder catches Mike. Yes. And like yes, a mic a mic falls over and he like grabs it out of the air. <laughs> but it, you like see him look at it and grab it. I didn't believe until I saw yeah. that. I mean that, that would be a great be the long con of a lifetime here. I still would love for Andy Kaufman to come back. Mm. Okay, well, I mean here, okay, here we go. Ready for this one? Yeah. Simple treasures for sale on uh, TikTok. Yep. The blind guy, John. Yep. Who's not really blind? No, he's he's like he's, his eyes. Are, he's probably he's leaving Wendy on. He goes to blind school, but he's like forty five or something, and he's going to like blind school college, which I don't think is a thing. 
he's also starting a GoFundMe for her so that she can get her teeth fixed. All right, here we go. She said that was a joke. Because he's a ha ha. That would be like me dating someone and then being like, let's put a GoFundMe for Amanda to lose 80 pounds. Isn't that fun? Uh, oh, it was just a joke. I mean, if anyone has got their hands on some black market Ozempic, <laughs> yeah. all at you, girl. Please. Let's talk about the learned. I- all right, we're talking to Janelle now, right? Here we go. Go yeah, back. Yeah. I'm, I'm at seven minutes and 32 seconds. Oh, so okay. far is to consider himself not married to me. So I think that's what we're sitting with. I want to talk about happier times. And I guess okay. let's, start out, let's start out with, because there's so much to unpack. Yeah. And it's like you said, it's an emotional time for the family. Yeah. There's so many emotional moments that are polarizing and heartbreaking. Yeah. But there are times when this family gets together there is such happiness. Yeah. Yeah. When the cameras are there, basically. Mm-hmm. When they're going ice blocking. Or like when Christine making, plans making everything caramels. for the family. Uh-huh. She plans all their celebrations, holidays. Mary planned stuff too, though. Because remember when they did that one road trip and they had to stop? They were already like two days behind schedule. And Mary made them stop at this insane place where like this guy was like cursing in front of all the kids. And he like had all his trucks. Like raised up in the oh, air. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Called truck henge. Yeah, the kids I were see. like cool. Was that the and, like the Rochelle where truly did her one woman <sighs> vagina monologues? <laughs> no, I think that was what may may have been when they were like looking at wedding venues or something for oh, Mitch and okay. Aspen possibly. But I think it was the same road trip that Cody that the uh, d- poop splash all over Cody's. Yeah, my favorite moment of sister Amazing. sister. Amazing. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> So sad. Mm, Sarah, I'm so sorry. If you guys are late to Lady Fire 343, you had to be oh, following her early enough. Now she's, she's private. I'm so she's sorry. I'll, off fill, of sticks. I'll fill you in. She had a uh, a, a pretty sick uh, souffle, as you would say. Ma- or... Mally Redeem says Stevie Wonder can see light and shapes. Okay, well then, <laughs> okay, well that negates our theory. <laughs> it's getting lit in this chat about Stevie Wonder. I tell you that. Okay. Again, we're we're both not we we don't really have we're not dying on a ledge of any of, of these opinions. We're mostly joking. It's like yeah. how I think Scott Peterson is innocent. But I mean, Stevie Wonder is not blind. But I, I mean, like, <laughs> like I really I I don't regret anything. No regrets. Mm-mm. I want you to relive some of those good memories where the whole family. Was- All right. Here's the montage. Just see how often you see Aurora. Okay. <laughs> Together and Robin's French manicures. Beautiful moment. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that moment too so much. Immediate, so, where she gets the clutter ring from Mary at her wedding, and then oh. she has her French manicure and she holds her. She, a, she grabs oh. her face, and it's the most jawy her jaw yep. looks. It's just like a. It's the it's the same body posturing thing. Like the first time we see Robin come down the hallway in that white shirt when she meets, she's yeah. like, oh, don't get, don't get, hey. It gives me such a visceral reaction. I and then know. here's the picture that goes along with it. Look at yep. those Frenchies. All the other yep. women are just like, oh, <laughs> shoot is that off Janelle on the left? Yeah. That is fingies on the left there. Someone's been gnawing. <laughs> well, Someone's she's stressed hungies. out. She's supporting a family of 20 right now. Oh. Plus paying off thirty thousand dollars of Victoria's yeah. credit card debt. For yeah. Her. Ain't no party like a brown family party. I don't miss you. I just see us now going forward and doing these things that sit around our family, but all five of us together. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Eight minutes thirty seconds, Lizzie. Oh, I like the backyard. Oh, right. So there there was an example when Christine presented that busted ass swimming pool in her backyard that was only half inflated. She opened the door. Who's the first one out? It's weird. Not Mm. her mom or her house or her family, really, even. She's the first one out there. A Cody and Christine equals love, and Cody and Robin equals love. When he oh. looks at you with those eyes, you are the most important person in the world. You are loved far more than any woman in the world has ever loved before. Yeah. Should we all tear up? Because yep. we all know, we those, all know those, those eyes. eyes. And you know that they are only for you in that moment. Ooh. This is fun. Hi. 
这个上学啊，哎、Oh, bro. Get out of there, Aurora. God, he doesn't know you. <laughs> it was heaven. Yeah. yeah. It's like you were all right. It was heaven. Christine raised my kids. I'd never have to be home. Just went ain't to no work. heaven I want to go to. Oof. Uh, I got I still every service of those like Cody sticky. looking at those eyes. Gross. Oh, I know. Oh. Sociopath. He's looking at you with sociopathic eyes, making like, you believe he actually cares about you. I like like look making eye contact with him would really like I'd feel like I'd feel like a jolt. Like a, not a good yeah, like he's together through there's my always... soul. Ugh. It would just make me like I'd have to divert. Moments. There, was, there was moments, and there was obviously hard moments too, right? A lot of hard moments, self growth, a lot said. of growth, That's a lot of rubbing said. up against each other's personalities and stuff. But That's what she said. when we were together like that, it was like everything was okay. It was all good. Everything was worth it. Did you like seeing the clips from the past? Yeah, <laughs> like I'm a little bit. <laughs> like I'm like, okay, hold it together, Janelle. Hold it together, because it was pretty amazing. It was, and we were all united, kind of in the purple. Yeah, it was. Then I wonder what happened. What could have changed to make it not be good anymore? I can't, I can't put my finger on it. I think it was that. I think it was the housing market in Vegas. Yeah, it was. It was here. <sighs> it wasn't that's where you want it to be? Yeah, yeah. Facts. Okay, <laughs> Lisa Ann. Oh wait. Oh, I, I had one up there. You oh, keep, I'm sorry. You I'm keep sorry. Me overstepping. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um. Wait, where did it go? Hmm. Oh, well, Lisa Ann. Sorry. Said, I, I'm like, God, dumb, dumb lady. Brand. I'm like, Christine, it's all my fault. So my fault. stupid. Um, Lisa Ann had asked, uh, it says that Gwen said on her, oh, yeah, there we go. My heart broke for Gwen when she said she didn't think her dad would abuse anyone for no reason. Uh, she's watching this past season. I hope she's not going to get hurt, just pissed. So, from what I know about Gwen's lives, or not her, not, not her lives, her videos, she recorded one for season 17 episode one just that one where her where cody and uh christine talk the whole time okay where they're just you remember the first episode it's just the two of them sitting yeah up in her bedroom um and gwen recorded that but she said she doesn't feel comfortable releasing it now or maybe mm -hmm. ever because it was just really hard for her to watch obviously because it's her parents discussing divorcing but yeah this last episode she said she does say that she's like, I don't think my dad would ever like say anything to hurt someone like on purpose or it's just hard to kind of, but I mean, what's she going to say? Yeah. But she is kind of brainwashed by him. Well, yeah, it's still their dad. Like you, you know, you're still going to be wanting to think the best. Like he's really not like that. And she probably does have some memories, some good memories of him. The younger ones, probably not so much. Uh, yes, TT. Like Devanna. I have a clatter ring myself. Colada. The meaning's Colada. great. Right finger crown pointing up to the wrist. Single crown down taken. Left hand crowned up. Engaged. Oh, I didn't know that. that okay, so mine's going to be right finger crown pointing up to the wrist, obviously. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know it was like the switch of the hand. I knew that. I somehow I knew that. Know that. Wow. All right, I'm at nine minutes and 50 seconds. So raising these kids. Do you miss that, that the purpose has changed? I think maybe that's the natural evolution. Kids grow older. We let a lot of differences of opinion really divide us, like in a very deep way that I never foresaw us mm -hmm. ever having happen. We've had a really good life. Yeah, but you're using it as in a past tense head. Well, because I mean, obviously things are different now. You know, I, you look at those, all those things and all those memories and you're like, that was real, you know? I think with our family, raising all our kids together. Yeah. And just having all those amazing moments like was so good but you do also have to realize that as they grow and they start their own lives the adults are like figuring out like who we are right within. yeah cody's done a bang-up job at nurturing that uh now mary's mm -hmm. making she's making new memories now with her friend jen yeah i watched a a minute of her their instagram <laughs> So many inside jokes. God, Mary. He's a cut up. Sister wife Sunday. Friday with friends. 
Please do. Oh, but do an impression of her live, like selling LuLaRoe. Because isn't it, isn't it like get out? You're blocked. Blocked. Read read yeah. the. Uh, penguin penguin it's a uh, it's not a sales code okay amanda amanda no <laughs> okay i'm gonna say this one more time read the pin post read the pin post 55 like annoyed. 55 okay i'm only gonna do this one more time one more time okay <laughs> all right yep Hi, now do an, Hi, now do an impression of uh, Janelle doing an Instagram video. <laughs> Guys, so um, <laughs> we had uh, so funny the dogs came up on the couch. It's really. <laughs> I think you 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 mute you you hit something and now your mic isn't on. There we go. My boob. My boob. <laughs> You know what? Oh, Actually, nice. I have um cabinets that are above my <laughs> above my um oven, and then it's microwave. And whenever I go reach above the cabinets, my boobs always hit the buttons, and they go, <laughs> and then I have to reset the freaking uh, oh no every single time. And then I just hear Paige right. and Charlie laughing. They're like, "You did it again!" And I just seen I'm always jealous <sighs> of Jody's teeth. They're super white too. All right, I have to get more water. So can you oh, talk talk to the people oh, for okay. two minutes? And I'll um, let you guys just take a look at my boot yeah. lamp. There's, oh, <laughs> yep, it is. My bobs. My bobs are accidentally turning off the mic. Um, There's this thing I, oh, my gosh, yes. Okay, so, Mandisha, I'm so glad you said this. So, you guys need to go, I, mean, I know it's on TikTok. That's where I saw it. Where someone says something to Mary about, like, why is her jacket open? And she got boost and then she's like oh there's this thing i like called open jackets and then she zips it up though and then she's like uh 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 she's she is very aggressive absolutely very very aggressive i'm you guys thank you so much um i really feel like i'm with with my others who also have big boob girl problems um they also like act as like a nice little bib you know like babies have those those little bibs that catch things when you got boobs they can just catch things too actually i was putting up um so uh you know the soon-to-be ex-husband moved out so i painted my room and i put up uh the curtain new curtain rods she just yelled at us and um when i was up there with the power drill i had to like change the the bits so I took the, um, you know, that like I'm here. The thing that you pre-drill into the wall and then like the, the little screwdriver ones. And I just put them in my bra, put them in my boobs so that I could just easily switch them out. Did I miss just anything? Power were, you tool talking about, were you talking about me? I, I, yeah, big boob girl problems. I was saying uh -huh. like, it, like they come in handy. I was changing drill bits on the, on the power tool and I was up on a ladder. And so I just like put them in there to switch them out. Sometimes when I'm getting when I'm getting ready at work, or if I'm just like if I need to walk, and and I don't oh. I don't have headphones. Well, no, right I just put it like there. here. Oh, that's yeah. cute, right there. I just I just do it like here. Yeah, but I heard that if you like do the, that, you'll you'll get, get like heart boob cancer. cancer. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know. Have boob cancer. Oh, I whatever. Know. Everything's everything gives us cancer these days, or True. or prevents cancer. Hmm. Okay, you ready? What what else were you talking about? Just your boobs? Uh, yeah, I love this. This is like, I mean, this is my people right here. Everyone understands this. Yeah. I'll oh yeah, I'll find I'll find things in there. Like, huh, when did I have something with crumbs? <laughs> 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 or I'll like brush into something, and then also like I come back, I'll be back from like a uh, Home Depot, and apparently I've picked up sawdust wherever I've leaned against something. It's just right here. God. Uh -huh. Somebody, oh, uh, top three brown kids, says Christine. Logan, Aspen, Savannah. This just, uh, Logan, Aspen, Savannah. Yeah. Uh, huh. Isabel. I do like Aspen. Gwen, I like oh, Izzy. Oh, Isabel. Isabel and Gwen. Uh, you know what? Before we knew about kind of Peyta now, how he can just be kind of, I don't know, very Cody-like in a lot of ways, even though he says he's not like Cody. He's exactly like Cody. Right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When he was just the Man BFG, mannerisms. everyone loved Peyton when he was just the BFG. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, we literally watched 
his childhood be sucked out we of him. We saw the and, moment where yeah, the, it veered what? left. What? Yeah. yeah, we saw, we get to, and they show it all the time. But um, that reminded me, I, I have a, do you want to hear this, Michael? Because we have our uh, Sister Wives extravaganza on the 16th, where we have all the other podcasts. Hopefully everyone's still in. Mm-hmm. We got Julie from Resting Bitch Face. We got uh, Sir Corey and Carly from Surviving Sister Wives. We have Kara Berry. Yeah. Oh, that, that hurts. Um, Sorry. Kara Berry. Who else? Uh, Justine and Erica Hensel. So I have okay. questions that I want. Is Julie coming on? I said you Julie, Julie sorry. Space, you weren't listening oh, to me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, to me. Um, I'm emphasizing just, where everyone has gotten their boobs, their big boobs stuck. All right, but okay, but li- listen to me now because this okay, is okay, okay, okay. good. I, I, I have I have questions, and if anyone mm. wants to think of other good ones, actually, but okay. I have three questions now that I that I'm going. I mean, Justine, you're here. You can start thinking about it now. I'm going to give them to them beforehand, but questions that I want them to answer when they when they each do their segments and the first one is if you could have Sukanya ask one one single question to Cody and Robin separately it could be two different Mm. questions what would it be one you get one for Cody one for Robin that they have to answer they have to answer it they can't storm out got it name and I don't know if I want to do top five or top three depends but name your top three or five episodes for a brand new watcher who's never seen sister wives give me three episodes give me five episodes what would they be okay I mean right off the top of my head I think polygamous Christmas uh wedding that's what I had you watch yeah I know that's what I we did that but I didn't get hooked until I broke my ankle like years later so well, that was also when you're like, uh, Mary is a hoot. She's I like, know. I like I'll this never gal. Let down. I think definitely the moving to Vegas episode. Like that, you got to start at least there, mm. where their car, where their car breaks down. Okay, and then my third one is <laughs> say three nice things about Cody and three nice things about Robin. <laughs> okay, if anyone has any other good questions, put them in the comments there and smash that uh, like. okay uh <laughs> should we get back into it yeah listen suki Got my water okay. listen suki i don't want to talk about what, what time camp are we at uh 10 minutes and 41 seconds in this family as yeah, well. you guys were so young when you got married oh we were so young how old were you i was 19 cody was 22 and we're in plural marriage at this young age and you know i'm just I'm, we're establishing a family that I don't really know how to establish. And there's influences from people in our church, other people we associate with, and we're not living our lives. We're living something else. Right. They married Mary, what? and it was a hard relationship from the very beginning. It was like Janelle was a blessing of dilution. It diluted this relationship I had with Mary. What a sweet thing to say about the mother of five, six of your children mm-hmm. that's been with you 30 years. The marriage of dilution. Mm-hmm. He's a charmer. I good mean... old Janelle. Good old trusty Janelle. <sighs> dilution. Okay. And, uh, you know, so we're bringing uh, more people into a problem. You know, we get married and we're in Mary's house. Like, this is a woman who's already got domain over our place, mm-hmm. you know? And so I'm bringing a wife into somebody else's house. Might as well be bringing her into the other wife's bed. It's just weird as hell. It's absolutely not the same thing. No. And if you were this great, like, overseer and the head of the family, it shouldn't have been a problem that it was Mary's house because you had control of the situation, yeah. right, Cody? He just makes no sense. I mean, this is like what everyone's saying. It's it's revisionist history. It's whatever he thinks the person he's talking to is going to believe at the time. Yeah. Also, I'm sur- people are su- they're surprised that Cody was actually that old. Like I thought that Cody was like twenty, but he was a little older. He was like old enough to I don't know be smart enough mm-hmm. to not see that this is a good idea. Was Mary yeah. caustic in some way? Was Mary absolutely yeah. was. Yeah. Did Mary just not accept Janelle because she knew that you had been jealous? Might have might have thought, oh my goodness, because I, you know, when I when Janelle and I got married, I thought, wow, this is something special. Like just man, anything, any little thing, the wrong loaf of bread. I mean, you can tell how special he considers his marriage with Janelle if you look at their wedding pictures. It was pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Shot up from this angle. 
with she's cutting the cake like this. Like and, and the fire. flash from the cameras reflecting off her glasses. Like, God, just give the girl a break already. <laughs> let, let her take off her glasses for the picture. Uh, also, <sighs> Jody Michael, since I was looking up, since again, for any of you who are just tuning in, after we finish the like season 17, we're going to be coming back every Sunday and we're going to read one chapter and breaking it down of the Becoming Sister Wives book. Um, yep. But uh, so I was looking at buying the book on Amazon and Michael, there are like pages with pictures in them. Like we will own the the picture of we Christine cutting from Janelle cutting. Mm. I mean, it's all the exact same pictures that are shown twenty five times per episode, like the wedding pictures. You know what? I might print some of those out. I was just, photo I was quality just paper. <laughs> that. Like, put them up in frames on the wall. Like, right yeah, there, look look all there here. Hey, when you walk into the office, you can see that <laughs> little collage. I mean, I would I would instantly fall in love if I walked into someone's home and there was just like a framed photo of Cody Brown and Christine. I don't know how <laughs> I'd react if I if I met if I actually met someone out in the wild who was as obsessed with sister wife as all of us. I know. Just randomly. Like I just don't even know what my reaction would be i'd be so excited I oh really my god be like we need to have a sleepover and just get into it holy shit yeah. the the wrong nylons the wrong uh, the wrong uh nylons. you know like we in in our family we use you know and i can do an advertisement here for you this di dish detergent I, like i mean i can see that i can see that mary was exactly like that oh this dish detergent is better be like just completely talking down to Janelle and this is how we do things in my family sweetie like just well, the amount that Janelle had to have sliding glass I, I told you Cody yeah. we're doing that episode next week just okay. things I'm an established relationship with somebody that I don't even get along with and then I bring somebody else in and then now it's like triangulating and then we bring Christine in and that, oh. that seemed to calm it it's almost like you could have we seem to have this not kept bringing more. more wives in because the last but, time it didn't work <laughs> didn't work yeah, so when you brought Janelle don't in. Get along with one wife so you're like oh you know what mm -hmm. instead of like divorcing her and saying i don't like you anymore now we'll just keep bringing more women in who i also don't like or respect yeah so it'll be easier. i mean well i mean just like uh, like mathematically hmm. if you just keep doing something over and over like the odds are that eventually it'll work right eventually yeah and at least like they can be bitching and yep 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 and about each other and not me because obviously yeah, they are all the problems but somehow they brought christine in and it did work and then he decided to muddy the waters by bringing in a young hot <sighs> wife uh 20 years into it unified focus even though the the strain was perpetual this was happening from the day or the week or the month or whatever after my me and mary had our honeymoon period we were in the storm nice it seems like when you first got married mm. you and mary and cody there there was a lot there between you yeah, guys we really struggled we really did struggle how did you guys butt heads was it over raising children was it over the basic how to run the household everything i mean like i just everything i just kind of want to know that was everything was it that was everything like i remember and yeah it was like it was like which laundry or which detergent should yeah. we use yeah should you put oranges in the fridge or not there was everything like i mean yes right you put oranges in the fridge i like all of you my put everything in refrigerated the fridge. except i don't bananas, put avocado but, in the fridge uh depends what stage it's at yeah, true, true. It's a uh, fine but line. Everything else, I, I like everything else cold. But also, I don't, I can't imagine that being an argument. I'd be like, okay, well, if you, where does Janelle lie on it? Is Janelle? I feel like monster, Janelle like, doesn't. doesn't wanna, I feel like Janelle's fine know. with oranges just kind of being Shit. all around the house. Shit. But would you care if, like, we lived together and I decided that I wanted my share of the oranges to be sitting out? Um. Yeah, I might mind because then there's gonna be fruit flies. No, there's not. Yes, there will be. If you leave them out there so. long enough, are you eating them quickly enough? I mean, am I eating <laughs> well, what's in my house? Yeah. You make fun of me because I like salad. Oh, I'm, I'll, I'm two minutes late for recording. I'm just eating a cucumber. 
the amount of times I've gotten like that text. I like my cucumbers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good I God, feta. Yeah. Okay. I know. Okay, enough. She, she's a cucumber every Clearly, day. Clearly, I don't survive. Are you eating, like, cucumbers? the whole okay. cucumber like this? Like, the cucumber. Like, an English yes, cucumber? Yes, I up. Yes, I up. In one sitting. And you're okay, not so you're shitting your brain fat. Out. Okay. No, I'm just surprised that you're not shitting every two seconds. Yeah, I eat the cucumber. I chop it up. Uh-huh. And then I eat it. I'll put some balsamic vinegar. Right. And then I'll put... Oh, yeah. I mean, I, moms are fighting. Sorry, you guys. I made craft dinner <laughs> with cut up uh, hot dogs in it yesterday. And I ate the whole fucking thing. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not a huge hot dog fan, unless it's from Portillo's. Mm, it has, well, that, I still, I'm still regretting not eating the rest of that Portillo's hot dog when I went to your house. I was Careful. too, like, excited and, like, I couldn't eat. I was got a nice, fresh uh, pickle spear on there. I know. I know. Mm. Costco's hot dogs slap, too. Um, by the way, guys, mm. uh, anyone who's a new listener, please join our Facebook group. You can join it right now. I'll let you in live on air. But um, I love to hate TV on Facebook. You have to answer a few questions. Just answer anything so we know you're not a bot. But you can scroll down or just go to the videos, and you can watch me and Jody doing the one chip challenge together in that little room Jody's sitting in. Yes, we I both mean, fit in there. It's pretty intimate, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> There's probably a way you can edit that to look can... like it's a porn, like a trailer for a porn. We exchange bodily <laughs> Just fluids. Just like milkshakes dripping down our mouth. In a way that like <laughs> platonic friends should not be sharing bodily We literally fluids. met in person 30 minutes earlier. Give me the fucking milkshake. Okay, and then, here we go. <laughs> it was like borderline child abuse the way we were screaming at my kids. Like, get the milk. Kind of when these issues were popping up, mm. didn't you want to address it right there and then and not let an open wound fester? I'm, the, I'm someone what? who just wound? stuff, stuff, <laughs> stuff, stuff, blow. And Mary's really direct. Like, and I didn't know how to do it. I'd never met anybody who was super direct like that. And I was like, whoa, it was like almost offensive to me. She's more aggressive with her oh, conversation. <laughs> Chris, uh, Janelle's like, yeah, it was a little offensive to me. And then Christine's just like, she was aggressive, man. Mary is an aggressive yeah, that, bitch. That was, yeah, she's just a bitch. Two girls, one milkshake. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah see, see, people are... People are, are agreeing. It was a, it was a wild <laughs> ride. <been> wild. <laughs> When you say aggressive, what does that mean? Can you define that for me? That I would have an ulcer, <laughs> stomach pain. She's just really confrontational. Oh she doesn't mind a confrontational conversation. For her, it's not a confrontation. I feel like I need some examples. Um, Why okay. don't you ask Cody first, and Robin for examples? I was going to say, yeah. first good question. Now let's carry that over to everyone yeah. else now. Oh my God. I kind of love that they're just laying it out there. That Mary's yeah. just No, a Mary's bitch. a bitch. Because, yeah, what that do they owe bitch. to her? Now that they're away, I think they're both, yeah, we don't owe her anything. She was she was nasty to us. And you can't just awful. say, oh, that's just how I am. I'm just one of those people who just tells it like it is. I just say what I'm thinking. Doesn't give you the right to be a okay. bitch. Yeah. Yeah, no and, it, no. and it also does make me think that Mary must be somewhere on the spectrum of, like, where she can't because she's she's like for her it wasn't considered a confrontation so the way her mind works she just i just i think she doesn't have empathy she probably no. does not possess that so in her the way her brain is wired it's not confrontational can you imagine ever feeling like you're not always on the cusp of a confrontation like i, I feel like I mean, every this... conversation i have is it, like i feel like oh god i don't want to i don't want to well, I mean, it was just established, like, Mary is first head wife, and mm -hmm. she's just a bossy personality on top of that, and it was ugh, real bad. And you know Cody did nothing to try to squelch any of that. Well, because do, don't you think that Cody kind of likes it? Because in his head, he's it's all them fighting over him. It's yeah, and he can also just point you know, when Christine and Janelle were complaining about Mary, he could be like, oh, yeah, I mean, I know how she is. And then when he's with Mary, you know, he's pointing the finger at that one just to, like, kind of make himself step back from it and take the heat off him. Ugh. The kitchen was an issue when we all shared the same kitchen. 
you know, what time we cooked, what we cooked, if we didn't clean up well enough. Oh my gosh. Um, it's just everything had to be. I feel like that's you, Jody. <laughs> Or I feel like if we were cooking together, you wouldn't necessarily point out to me that I didn't clean something good enough, but you would definitely like clean it afterwards for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) And I'd probably be like, (sighs) so you can hear me from the other room. Yeah. But then what if I turned around and like confronted you about it? I feel like you'd back off immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Like, I I, went, that wasn't, that wasn't even about you. No, 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 no. I was thinking, I, was thinking I, I, I like spilled something over where you had spilled it was, something. It was actually my fault. Yep, yep. Yeah. yeah. My mom like follows me around with a rag. Like when I go to her, <laughs> it's like wiping the, wiping the fridge handle. <laughs> like, just, like, oh, not that's dirty. cute. Yeah, it was just very, very stressful. It was and, very stressful. And this was Mary, right? Who wanted everything kind of that way. It, yes. Just yes. That was the biggest thing is I never knew if she was mad or not mad. And the stress was so That's much. Fun. It was just mm. took me over the edge. And I'm like, I'm done with you. Mm. I'm done. Coming up. I wasn't mean. And honestly, I wasn't mean. First of all, if you have to sacrifice to love somebody, that's not healthy. And later. So who do you trust? Hmm. Well, I think that's obvious. Then say it. There's an inter- we are at 14 minutes and 40 seconds for anyone. Interesting factor here, and this goes back. I'll unwind a little bit here, go back to the past. The family was in a bad place because Janelle moved out. She was done. Wow. Um, she left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she moved left. in with her mother. Does TLC think, think, think the audience is going to go, <gasps> we're like, yeah. Janelle left? Yeah, Suki, where have you been? How She's dare not you watching the show? And call yourself a host of a one-on-one and not know that. By the way, That's go ahead and read it if you want to read out loud. Justine's a comment there. Uh, if I went that long with no, not doing it. You tricked me. <laughs> I'm not. Doing you can't it. say the word coming. No, I don't like it. <laughs> said, if I went that long without coming, ah, I'd be a miserable. Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. No, Kelly Clarkson. not doing it. <laughs> Did she leave you or did she leave the family? Because this is something we haven't heard before. Mm, Yes, I didn't feel like she was leaving me, but she was leaving them because I wasn't giving her enough support. You know, sort of um, working things out. And her and I were constantly working things out, but she couldn't abide being with Christine and Mary any longer. And it was just too much strain on her life. Uh, Do you like how Cody also takes himself out of the equation there? Yeah. Well, he just it was said, like, it wasn't specifically. me. It was, it was me. Them. I'm perfect. Right. I'm a man. Hello. That's all women desire. He's trying to muscle tears talk like to Robin. Me about a comment her and her mother would make about the Mary and Christine Club. Because Janelle wasn't in it. So there was just this place where Janelle didn't feel like she was fitting in. But then she was able to put herself and her emotions and everything aside and put the family first. I, I think we were rifted pretty strong. I mean, we, we ended up with three different houses there, seemed to be getting into kind of a groove. I told Janelle that I was picking up a job in Utah, that mm-hmm. my career needed some expansion, stuff like this. And she says, <laughs> my career needed some expansion. <laughs> <laughs> like the red needed some expansion. I needed to get a job. Yeah. The, the amount you gotta read between the lines. My, my, my employment talks. needed some expansion, also known as I have to work. I have to get a job. Yeah, I guess Janelle. Oh Janelle, God. how come you're not able to support three households? God, I guess I have to get a job now. Um, oh, oh no, no, no. His career needed expansion. In expansion. He, he did a little, mm. he did like an accordion move. Yeah, I don't like yep, the simulating yep, yep. that I picked for myself. Um. Oh, by the way, Julie's in in the chat now too. <gasps> Hi, Julie. Julie. Julie and Justine, who Justine has officially joined Resting Bitch Face podcast. Check them out. They're they had a great, great. It's year an instant review play when it comes up with some predictions. Yeah. Is this my? What is this? This we're going. Back I like to this? that. It's it's warmer. It's just the the lighting, like. It's changed. Okay, fine. I just need to not. You touch look it. gorgeous, and I love the things. You know, I finally got my life together here, um, and that was a real shock to me. Oh, that she can live without you. <laughs> I, th- I also think good. I think it was a shock to his system too to have a 
job. Mm. A job. Yeah. Ja, ja, ja. All right. But how does she do it on her own? Because she's dumb lady. Lady yeah, she's like She's able to be happy without man? <laughs> that was a shock. Not healthy. Oh, it wasn't healthy, oh, he just said. But then she turned around and we had this offer for this home. And she's like, get that home, get that home, get that home. Because we can. Could- I oh, don't oh. know if that's exactly how that works. I mean, of all the real estate transactions that we've seen with this family, Janelle is always the first one that is like, well, get that home, get that home, get that home. The market must have been right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. No, nothing for her in Wyoming. It was probably all the way down here. I mean, we were we're watching right now on, on our Patreon season five, and Janelle is like she's crunching numbers for the mortgage loan, and she's like, get, get on this now. Yes, Do it. Not, there are Do so it. many shots of Janelle with, like who again had makeup on and then forgot and then rubbed her eyes. So she's the makeup's like, just like this. Her hair is frazzled, and it's her. She's eating. She's tapping away on a calculator with yeah. the back of a pen, like. Just going, there's like a a stale uh, tray of uh, of nachos, nachos made with uh, craft singles that she's <laughs> bl- blindly eating. She doesn't even realize she's eating them. <laughs> when, when Mona told him what to each one and said if they had the mortgages or not, they're all like, "Yay!" And she's like, <laughs> "She's like, I was not I, expecting. I, I did not think we were going to counting on it actually. For it did not work. God, yeah, she's saying, get that house, get that house. God, he's he's not. He's gonna. Sure, he's go, gonna yeah. omit. He's gonna yada yada over the inheritance. Don't, by don't the way. get that house. Don't get that house. <laughs> so she was looking for reconciliation. I guess you could say. Yeah, Mary and Christine each had their own house, and then I had my own house. But why does Cody see it as you needed your space and that what was happening, the relationship that was happening between the other sister wives was just too much for you? See, I think Cody remembers it in a way that works for him to remember it because that's not how I remember it. Well, how does it work for him to remember it? I think he is looking to blame like that we there was always conflict. Yes, there was conflict, but there were really good times too. I really wanted to stay in Wyoming. I really did. Mm-hmm. I had just started to develop a good life and I didn't want to leave it. Was the struggle that was going. Mm. Can you go back up to Debbie's comment from up there? We had mentioned Debbie earlier in the stream that she was a yep. host before. Um, She says TLC needs to hold his feet to the fire and demand he answer the questions instead of bullying the host and withholding information. I mean, if he's afraid of poverty, threaten him with poverty. That's the thing is I know that a lot of these reality stars can get away with shit like this, but then there's ones Mm. like Amber or Cody who try to kind of like flex and Mm -hmm. the network knows that they can kind of walk all over them because Amber's not going to get a job. Cody's not going to get a job. Cody's so obsessed with being famous. So yeah, TLC should threaten him. Mm -hmm. If you, you aren't getting a single cent of your whole salary for the year um if you if you walk out on the interviewer if you don't answer something right are they not are they not able to say that you have to answer every question and you're not allowed to walk out or you don't get paid Uh, yeah but they want them to get upset because that's gonna be good for views too they want the walkouts like on a 90 day fiance reunion yeah yeah god I just hate this. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still stuck on the comment that Janelle just said. I was really happy and I didn't want to leave there. Yep. And I just had this <sighs> huge inheritance. <laughs> and you know, he guilted her being like, well, we said we we're going to be a family. How can we be a family if the kids are there? It was so much better when you were and the kids miss you. I'm sure he was saying shit like that. And then he brought up the house thing and she was probably like, okay, fine. Get the house. Get the, because at least she could have her own space in that house. She wouldn't have Mary to you know they'd be living in the same house but not have to watch them cuddle on the couch together right in like a didn't they all live together in like a single wide yeah no one should ever have to live in a trailer oh was that terrible foot bath that shower is like a foot bath this is where the the doggy then (laughs) between mary and janelle was the reason why Christine was brought in to sort of no, Christine, buffer the situation. No. Christine basically asked to be in the family. She was just point blank. I want to be in your family. But your faith propelled you to do this. I felt a lot of pressure. Christine was part of 
she's basically royalty in our church. <gasps> he's um, saying it. I can't he's not saying fair. That. I look back and it wasn't fair for me to go, oh, this will make me cool in our church, you know? <gasps> so it was your ego. Oh. Oh, I was a polygamist. It's all ego, baby. Ew, First of all, don't call it. me baby. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, no. Right. He's called what her baby that? now twice. He said baby. Oh, I was a polygamist. You still are a polygamist. What that's, are you No, that's about? the thing I was saying earlier that he says in passing. He says, I was a polygamist. I don't think he considers himself one anymore. Well, yeah, because those two laughed. And he hates And Mary, Mary like, doesn't count because... I mean, it's I mean, Mary. I'm not coming. I mean... God. Oh my yeah. god. And so what a fucking he's also he's he's making it seem like Christine was like up like up like please please put me in your family, which I think she kind of did probably have that energy because she says she was freaking smitten with this guy. Right. But he had the option to walk away the first time when he saw her eating the nachos. Gross. Oh. To fucking say he was man. disgusted, it would be an understatement. Well, there was chili and cheese everywhere. I, everywhere. And, to see a chubby girl eating that too in my car in my car it after was, he had a sour on our relationship because he had some soda pop <laughs> when we when we get to that chapter i think we should just oh God, we should it. just go through it without even looking down at the book because we already know it <laughs> <laughs> verbatim I mean, but he had the opportunity wow. to walk away then and then they dated the underage girl super mm. cute and um uh and then he went back to christine and like pretty much begged her to come back so this is he was not pressured into this he and walked I love away he, and then came back yeah he's distancing himself this is very recent cody to be like oh i was a polygamist baby this <laughs> it's all ego baby yeah this was way back then i was a polygamist and it was all ego it's been like 30 days when you record like yeah <laughs> This wasn't 20 years ago that you're talking about your old former self. My God. What an idiot. Yeah, why yeah, is she say, saying, don't call me baby? <laughs> that would be so funny. How she didn't uh, even flinch. Oh. Yeah, I think at this point he's broken her down already, too. Uh, Cindy mm -hmm. Peterson says, polygamists consider themselves polygamists even if they only have one wife. So him saying he was is very telling. Well, that's Christine's fault. Christine made it oh, so he's not a polygamist anymore. She ate the nachos and then she was a huge bitch for 30 years. <sighs> this past year has been difficult to say the least. Hard. Yeah. Hard to say the least. Emotionally draining. But this this meltdown that happened when the family all gathered together and you were kind of saying that, hey, I've got a buyer for the house. I'm moving in a week. How did you expect them to take it? Oh, hard. Hard. Because I was changing everything it was changing everything and that's kind of what happened so i know let's take a look at what happened oh yay it wasn't <laughs> about the family it was about the man and this is my frustration oh yay and it's also my accusation i'm angry that you weren't willing to invest in the family but you were only interested in what i could do for you me as a resource for you what that was never before seen i think no this is why I, I haven't seen any of this stuff how is he a resource for her? Like he thinks also, I want to, I'm going to play that again. Show? Like listen to just how he's hearing words are popping into his head and he's just oh, saying yeah. them like mm -hmm. big words that he thinks are big words. All right, here we go. And so I know. let's take a look at what happened. Oh, yay. It wasn't about the family. It was about the man. And this is my frustration. And it's also my accusation. I'm angry that you weren't willing to invest in the family, but you were only interested in what I could do for you, me as a resource. What does he mean by resource? Because resource usually means that you're like supplying something with someone with something money. they can use money, products, um, love. Sport. Yeah. I think he thinks, well, sister wives, like this is my show. I, <gasps> Like because yeah. I am the man and yeah. I I made you all wives, so you were that really only is the in pink elephant around. in the room of the whole series is that they never. I wish they could discuss the show mm -hmm. and acknowledge the show. Right, that would be interesting. For you, I'm not broken hearted about Christine leaving me. I'm broken hearted about my family having this 
this schism, this breakup. Are you interested in some sort of a, like trying to work stuff out maybe from the past how many years? Are you interested, Robin? I think for right now, I need space. Oh, okay, Robin, right now. It shows Robin watching it. And she's like, okay, yeah, I cry, 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 cry. She's trying so hard to cry while she watches this. As far as the relationships with the other adults, I think Janelle and I are super close, but I'm not that close with the rest of you. And for right now, I kind of need it that way. I have seen her non-acceptance of Robin, and I have seen her disdain for me through the years. As much as it hurts me, um, I'm... I'm glad to know where she actually sounds. It's like, I don't know what I am. God, Robin, shut the fuck up. She's treated you like dirt from the very beginning. That's the relationship you have with her. And that's the reason I'm angry. Here, Robin goes into like her gastric. Yeah, there she is. (gasps) Oh, Oh, my God. And he gets all excited because he finally feels like he nailed it down, like something he could say he's angry at. So he jumps up from his chair. And and that's why I'm angry, Your Honor. (laughs) That's there why I'm so pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the moment in uh, My Cousin Vinny where it's like, yeah. ooh, they finally figured it out. Okay, here we go. And why is it not possible? Uh, it's a great, great thing. That's the reason I'm pissed off. That right is because... That, that is. That one. You never tried to have a really good relationship with these other people. And that's the reason I'm pissed off. That's not true. And it's yes, just I did. vomiting out of me because I've sat here with it just like Christine trying to do this. You wanted to re- renegotiate a relationship with me, but you wouldn't even have a decent one with them. Oh, he's about the kids. That was the easy part. Yeah, yeah. I would say that raising 18 kids is easy, right? Raising and homeschooling them while pregnant well you just come home at night and you're like hey easy hey, daddy's here and then you like yep. go say hi to the other ones and you just like go the, say hi jody the easy. kids were the easy part okay well, i mean from from what i know your schedule is like it. compared to mine i mean I'm, I'm always like god jody's life is so fucking easy over there well driving yeah. around and the infusions and <laughs> yeah. jugglings i mean yeah. but cody sees robin do it and they don't and have any help at all yeah. Didn't yeah. any help at all. No. None. The easy part was the kid. Man, mm. just the knife in the kidneys over all these years. Ready? Mm-hmm. The sacrifices that I made to love you. Wasted. Oh, I, I forgot about the wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle, Janelle's sitting in the room watching it and she's like yeah I remember that and I that still love watching crazy. her in the chair because he's losing his mind behind her and she's just like I know I noticed that too like, <laughs> like in the moment when he is yelling Janelle's sitting in that chair and yeah like looking up over her shoulder like uh-huh okay it's this like if cute. you're in a movie and someone's like making too much noise with their rappers you're like okay. mm. you're almost done <laughs> <clears throat> but accountability oh. is what I've been asking for here. And you are running away rather than being accountable. Okay, look, I never That's tried to wow. treat anybody like crap. I never tried. I never did. But you did. Well, I'm sorry. I, I did not to. You so much. I didn't mean to. And now we're sitting here with a broken family over it. Oh, oh God. God. Boy. Are your reproductive parts just like closing up and like shriveling? Like, yeah. Ew, he makes men look so disgusting and gross. But he really thought that he that was a mic drop moment. Oh, he's walking away to his truck now, and he's like, "Yeah, I nailed it. Yeah, I I showed her." I somehow came to some kind of conclusion that made sense at the end of that rant. Ew, if you were Robin, how could you watch your man have a She's into it. I guarantee tantrum. you that she was like, that was awesome, Cody. Ew. God. Guarantee you. She thought that, that was hot. Baby. Ugh, disgusting. But even if you think that like toxic masculinity is hot, um, or just, you know, a beefy guy or whatever, um, it should still also scare you that he has the ability to scream like that. 
to put so much of his body into screaming waste that he had to break it into very separate syllables because he was giving so much of himself. Like that, that came from like his his anus that like from uh, his kidney from the knife from, in the kidney. Oh, yeah. My fault. You did this is what I feel like. I don't care if that's not fair. That's how I feel. She did this. And I'm trying I to I don't anything. get that. I think it's emotion. That response. From did you? Okay. Did you see that? What Cody just said. I don't said? get that. When Janelle went to hug Christine, I don't get that. What don't you get? Isn't this what you wanted your sister wives to consider themselves sisters oh, and be well, friends? Well, no. See, okay. Oh, that only applies. You to might want to write this Rob. down. You might want to write this down. Oh, this is why I, you're single. I, I only have my vape pen. Oh, I'm so oh. stupid, <laughs> woman. You thought I it was a, an actual pen, didn't I you? I did, woman. Everybody, okay, okay, so can't tell so me. Listen, me so <clears throat> men only like women who respect them, That's no right. matter what. Yes. And no she one cares about love, right? Cody. Right. When she okay. was seeing someone who was in pain and went to help mm. them. Right. That was disrespectful for of Cody. Yeah. Well, yeah, of Janelle. It was, he, she was being disrespectful by being a good person. Is yeah. that what I'm Yeah. Oh, well, I'm it's so to be loyal stupid. to him. Because it's about Cody, not the family. Wait. No. Unless it has to do with Robin. Around. Unless Unless it has to do with Robin. Uh, I love way, I just... how they, they think their big zinger is getting Christine on her opening thing where she goes, it wasn't just about the man. It's about the family. They love being like, you said it was about the family, but it was about the Well, man. and they're all saying like, she kept saying it over and over every week almost at the same yeah. time, every Sunday. It seems like I said it once in the first episode. Uh, yeah. Like, I, God, they wrote it down for me to say yeah. in season one before we signed and the I said it. Um... Suzanne, I just want to say, uh, Susanna, Susanna says, Amanda, that story about Mariah Carey made me respect you even more. <laughs> uh, another, uh, got another music stickler over here. It's not possible. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cody was not just emotion. That response from Cody was real. And he said some things he probably has been holding in for a long time. Yeah, yeah. we know. I'm real. glad he said it. Why? Because you're a fucking bitch. Sorry for you to go. Sorry for you to go. Sorry for you to go. Then Barry stomps off. <sighs> and her pants that are two tights, oh, one size. That's two why two. she got up to leave. She's I like, gotta get more. I think this is one of the saddest breathe. conversations I've ever been in. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. <laughs> this is just <laughs> <right. Uh> Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, so, that was really intense. So that was really hard. How are you? Christine's so over it. She's like, oh. Yeah, I know. That was pretty hard. Oh, oh too yeah. bad. Uh oh. <laughs> you know what that means, Angela? Smash that. Look. Look. Come on, guys. Get Am I allowed to show me. my vape pen? It's legal here. Here in the great province mm. of Alberta, in the great country of Canada. Oh, it's legal, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. My grocery store has a like a, an attached cannabis stop next to it. Should oh. be like Jewel Osco cannabis. Hey, don't bring my Jewel Osco into this. Hey. Able to remain so calm during this time. Oh, let's just take a minute to breathe for a minute. That was so hard. It was so hard to watch, so hard to be there. Gosh. I know Cody's not, he hasn't yelled like that before. Yeah. Now, do you believe that Cody's never yelled like that before? Hmm. Or do you think the cameras were there for so much of the time that that's why he wasn't yelling? So I can't believe yes. that he wasn't. Yes. I could see him maybe not yelling like that, but he would just get like, he would be aggressive and mean in the things that he said. 
I could see yeah. that. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, so, uh, oh, I can't, I'm seeing I can't. something going on in the comments. Something I don't going know what the on was, but I mean, guys, whatever. Let's let's be nice. I'm, something about Leon. Yeah, don't don't say tra don't say transphobic stuff here. We are. Insanely yeah, liberal. I didn't catch don't, it, so don't be, sorry. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but if yeah, if there's a conversation going on about that, just let's 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 stick to let's hating Cody and Rob. Cody okay? here, okay? Yes, yes. yes. We can Everyone just support. Be all of Leon, Let's all of that. Aim the meanness where it needs yeah. to go. Okay. Exactly. Keep your, you can, you can have your opinions. Just keep them. Keep That's to yourself. Right. Let's, or let's, TT let's... is going to come after you. Right. TT. That's fucking right. You go get them. Yeah. Yeah. Turn, Smash that like too. Okay. Everyone's saying smoke it up on YouTube. You're allowed. No, I, yeah, I know. Oh yeah. Um, I was going to take another hit, but I will like pass out. I'm a, I'm a bebe. I, I, can't, I can't do it the way I used to. I don't even know what to do. How did you feel when he said all those things? I'm so shocked. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's I didn't know question. that. I, w I wasn't mean. I, honestly, I wasn't mean. I wasn't mean to anybody. Like, I didn't know that I'd been shunning robin like mary said i was doing i didn't know i've been doing those things i don't i didn't try to do anything like that because you weren't maybe just not by letting her in as much as she wanted so that was really difficult um it seems like that was the trigger christine robin talked janelle that. and mary for two years to me this god cody just <laughs> he's so excited to about this he loves this girl drama he loves it god he would so be the, the type of guy that would be like, I can, can I come to the girls sleepover? Cause like, oh. I can just like, get along with girls. Yes. And also I thought he like, didn't want wives talking about other wives and they didn't talk about the other wives with each other when they're not around. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, this is what I was saying. So you guys, I, I feel really bad. I miss what was said, which let's not repeat whatever what was said but if there's like homophobic transphobic stuff going on knock it off I, yeah I and need that's to my mom i don't i don't think it was i, I think i just want to stop said. to it i think i just want to stop to it that what? did it knock it off oh yeah oh yeah uh, yes we, yeah just, just, let's just talk let's aim our focus toward cody <laughs> getting frustrated yeah. it's like you keep telling me i'm sleeping with the enemy i talk about reconciling with mary and christine loses it yeah right. i'm i'm going you know i understand that janelle has certain nuances or quirks or whatever but i love her and i'm still in this relationship with her and you're telling me that she mistreated you so christine feels threatened by janelle as well not now this i spent two years listening to it it's like, listen, you get to a point where you start realizing who you can trust and what you can say and what you can't say. So who do you trust? Well, I think that's obvious. So say it, Robin. Then say it. God, that, 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 that'll start just pissing me off. Well, you just said it. it's obvious. So just say it. He just like growled. Oh. It's I'm starting to get pissed off and picks up his coffee. Why are they letting him command this interview? Uh, that'll get me pissed off. Well, I don't care. Say it. I don't care if you're pissed off. I think it's off. obvious. Okay, then just say it if it's that obvious. God. What she should have said is, so why don't you just say Robin? Why don't you just say it? Yeah. Oh, so, so Robin. Um. By the way, I don't want to go back to this whole thing. We're not mad at anyone. In the no, I, I honestly, I said, totally missed it. I'm, what was I said, and I, I saw the original remember. comment, it was that Mary Leon is very much Mary's child because Leon is like rude and kind of not, like, we just did an episode okay. yesterday where Leon had just like a shit face on the whole episode. So I think that that was the original comment, which I agree with. Leon, Leon can be kind of shitty, I think. Yeah. Um, anything after that I missed, but anyway, let's, let's okay. run. We're, um, good. we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Why are they just letting him scream and yell and rant and refuse to answer questions and that kind of stuff? Like what? I don't get it. That's going to piss me off, Suki. And also what it sounds like is that Christine and Janelle finally compared notes and were like, oh, well he said this about you. 
And then Christine was probably like, oh, yeah, and he said this about you. He said that I said that you said. And now it's coming back to him that he is the drama queen, that he loves the gossip, that he leaks he's like the a drama. Sieve. Yep. Like Janelle said. You know so that TikTok that TikTok sound. Oh, we could, I mean, we haven't, I could, I could probably, I could do this on TikTok, I think. Um, there's that TikTok sound from like earlier in the year, and it's a quote from Scarlet Envy on Drag Race where she's like, Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. Am oh. I the villain? Right? Have you heard that TikTok sound? No. Or am I the drama? Is she saying the drama? Villain? He will, you I want am. the villain? Did she sing villain? Am I the drama? I don't want to be the drama. I don't know. Either way, that's Cody. Am I? Mm. Am I? I'm not the drama. All right. Yeah. Love that logo. Is it me? Am I the drama? Thank you, Kaylee. Is it me? Am I the drama? I got the villain thing mixed up with uh, oh. Diana from. Okay. We can discuss that another time. Okay. No, we don't have no, another time. No, we'll discuss it now. Oh, I just just goes, to... Okay. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, this no. is why I'm kind of turning on Sicky. Yeah, what the hell? Has Christine treated you badly? Snarky comments, letting me know how things were going to go. I was just in that angry point there. So I was like, Robin, you stop groveling because Christine's never going to love you. He did the same thing. What? Yeah. So you're complain. saying he's guilty of complaining yes, about, the other complain wives too. about the other wives too? Not Robin. He never complained yes. about Robin. About Robin. Oh. Why are you waving your tail? <laughs> how is it looking at that? And how does it feel <laughs> seeing Christine being yelled at like that? Um, you know, there's nuances like, Cody, like I made so many sacrifices to love you. Well, first of all, that should be a, a warning, right? If you have to sacrifice to love somebody, that's not healthy. Mm -hmm. And this whole framing it around, you were a bad sister wife. According to what perspective? Are you really my husband too? If you only see that she was a bad sister wife to one person? Like if you're really married to both women, you're going to see both sides. Nobody's ever innocent. Well, he always says that, you know, Robin came into this house with her hat, okay. with her hat in her hand. I know. That's his oh, 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 no, no. Cap. Oh, Suki, it's, it's Cap. <laughs> Cap in hand. Come on. Cap in Suki. Suki. Yeah, Baby. God, you misquoted. Baby. Baby. It's cap in hand. Perspective. Yeah. She was this angel who came in. And I'm sorry, she's human. She's not this perfect saintly person. Ooh, now we Have you it. seen her and Christine just both butt heads? Have no. you seen that? I perceive, and this is the world according to Janelle, mm -hmm. that there is a definite... Um, He's a little bit myopic when it comes to Robin and her hurts and her perspective oh. and her experience in this versus everybody else's. Mm -hmm. mm. Has he ever asked you what your experiences are? No, we've never really <laughs> had that conversation. In the very beginning, I used to try to vent to him and he'd be like, I can't take your side again in this. But he's obviously taking a side now. <gasps> obviously, he points to Robin and he says, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen the non-acceptance of Robin time and time again. Yeah. And you said you, you've seen that. I've seen that with Christine. I've seen her, you know, just be a little bit challenged with the <sighs> Robin coming in and him caring about her so much, which he should. She's a wife. But I also get that she, through those years, was just craving some attention and some love that she wasn't getting. I mean, he, he said it. He's like, it was a sacrifice to love her. Hey, there's Mary kind of getting on the right side of history. Right? But where is she getting at? Is it going to come back to her then? I don't trust her. I don't know. I where think is she this might be over to even talking about herself, to be honest. I think she heard the stuff that Cody had said about her, that lie about how he wanted to get back together with her. Yeah, so now she's, she's like, like oh. You gonna lie and you're gonna say that? Okay, well, yeah, she's right. She's Christine calling him out. Now. She's still, she's still pretty messed. Um, someone oh, yeah. just said, Valerie just said, I got here late, but Amanda, I hope that's Plexus you're drinking. Oh, it's it not. A it's a soda drink? stream. It's just soda drink. Uh, water with uh, soda stream. It's a water with cranberry juice. <gasps> Got to keep that yeah. urinary tract in <laughs> tip top shape. <laughs> No wife wants to hear that. No, no wife wants to feel that. 
I've heard him, I've asked him, I'm like, what were you talking about here? And he's like, I'm talking about the whole, everyone. I'm talking about Janelle and the horrible things that she said about Janelle. I'm talking yeah. about Mary and the horrible things that she said about Mary and all the things that she's done. Has Christine treated you badly? In the beginning, it was, it was very difficult um, in the beginning, but like, I, I kept thinking we were working through stuff, but, um, no, I'm not, I'm not sitting here yeah. other than the walls yeah. that I'm dealing with, with her. But how did she treat you differently in the beginning? Um, yeah. it was snarky comments. No, no there wasn't. No, there wasn't. You're, you're thinking comments. you're getting us confused with Mary. Yeah, no. I, like one thing that Christine would never be is snarky. She doesn't have that, like no. No. Janelle no, can no. be snarky. Mary is just snarky. That's her entire personality. Um Yeah, no, this is all bullshit. And also Robin said, I asked him, I asked him about, about what he was talking about. So I thought. Robin has always said she never talks about the other wives with Cody. Never. They never, never talk because it's none of her business. Keep it separate. That's the yeah. rule. And she knows mm. everything about being a polygamist, if, as you know. She's the expert. Also, when Suki asks, can you give us any example? Robin is like literally like searching her brain. Search I think I would think that I would have immediate examples to like. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure Christine, there was times where Christine was like a little, was like aloof. Or kind of like cold, like maybe a cold shoulder. But yeah. I don't think she would ever say snarky things because she knows she would be punished by Cody for it. And she always yeah. was kissing up to him. Yes, yeah, snarky comments like, don't kick our family dog. Yeah, no, she never made snarky comments. Robin probably took them as a slight or a snark because Robin knows that she was always trying to keep, oh God, sorry, trying to keep her kids separate. Yeah, like and, she and would we're perceive getting perceive things as a slight when they we're, were getting not. a lot of comments here about Christine. Like, yeah, like it like she's not really snark, she's sarcastic, not snarky. Um, Christine is over the top. I think Christine, yeah, she's Christine can be a lot. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm I don't not think, saying she's, I don't think she's snarky. Yeah, but she's not snarky's snarky. not the word I would use. No. She can be sarcastic. And also, if she did say a couple snarky things, like what do you how how do you think she's dealing with this? Yeah, also you she's called nine Hunter. months pregnant when you come in. She would name kids by names that she was like, oh, the teenagers and Hunter and uh Leon and whoever they they didn't like that she was pregnant and she was just so so sad. She would name them by name yep. all the different things that she didn't like that they did. That Logan would come over and hear her leftovers out of the refrigerator. They'd paid me that popsicle over a bowl. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mean things. Mean things. Okay, um, yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of example. Letting me know how things were gonna go. You know, kind of pulling rank. There's what? no way that <laughs> kind of pulling rank. Saying mean things now. It's gone from snarky like, to mean. Like what? Yeah. Don't a, kiss a, my husband while I'm crowning. Yeah. Right. Hey Robin, I need Cody. Oh, um, hey Robin, could you go wake up Cody because uh our daughter is dying from kidney oh, failure in the hospital. Right. If you don't mind waking but him he's up. He's tired. He had to grill all that man meat that one time when they and were he gone. on that car. It was that, mm. that was like a two hour day. I bet she thinks the mean comments were were like when Janelle and Christine were saying, "Oh yeah," when like the kids they were all running up the like when they were hiking. And she was like, Dana or Brianna, be careful. No, don't go there. Don't, no, no, no. Specifically climbing. you three, be careful, the rest of you. Yeah, and they were all like, oh, we just like let them run and play. And that's how they learn. If they fall down, they'll be okay. She probably took that as like, they were saying that I was like too protective. Oh, because you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Oh, God, those kids are so freaking be. I think Dayton might get out of it. Because mm. he's at least in school. He's around, you know, people that aren't part of that family that live in that house um yeah. christine not christine brown oh, maybe it's christine brown says amanda mary is on team ex-wife refer to your annotated uh picture from the wedding uh, look at where she yeah she yeah, she's sitting with the she's not sitting with cody and robin interesting she's also sitting with leon but also leon doesn't obviously doesn't want to sit with them she sat next to gwen mm. all right um okay 
Let's see what else. Let's see the other examples Robin gives of what up. Bitch. Oh, I can't wait. And it was hard in the beginning. It absolutely was. In this particular clip. Letting her, letting me know how it's gonna be. Pulling rank. Yeah. That's totally Christine's personality. I mean, when they were this on that 11 day honeymoon, Christine yeah. was so mean. Just pulling oh, rank and stuff. When she was pulling just sitting there. Rank. God. All right, here we got, we got Suki and uh, Cody. And Cody. And Cody's got a cool, chill look on his face. Oh, yeah. He's like... <laughs> When you're sitting there and you're looking at her and said, you did not treat Robin well from the beginning. Well, that was a focus that I was taking for everybody, but but Robin was saying that statement, so I pointed that out. Shut up! That wasn't even what? Oh, no, I meant Wait. everyone, but Robin was talking and I was looking at Robin, so, you know, Robin. But, I mean, it, it meant everyone, including me. Mm. But I, Robin, I was, Robin just happened to be, I just used an example. You're Robin. He was specifically pointing at Robin. Right. She treated you, you like dirt. But it was like you. He meant to like you. Yeah. To everyone. But him and Robin are so laser focused in on each other. Do you think mm. he even knew that Janelle and Mary were there? No. Oh. No. That's why Janelle had to be like. Well, well he did look over to Mary when Mary was like, yeah, I know these bitches, right? Mary, it looks like you have something to say bad about Christine. Say it. Say it. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Say it. Mary's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just sitting here. Yeah. She's like, I mean, clearly three, he was talking I'm about three Janelle, sour too. Puckers in. What do we say no. our drink is Dr. Pepper and Apple Pucker? Yeah, I think Apple Pucker, uh, root beer. Root uh, beer. Or like OJ and Kahlua. <laughs> like things that a little turtle. <laughs> yeah, like things that don't that shouldn't go together. Yeah, or or like she probably really loves like a like wine and whiskey, or like, like snickerdoodle flavored vodka with oh yeah, <laughs> like with, a birthday um... cake vodka oh, with yes. with like red uh, fireball. <laughs> Actually, that might be good. It's like a spicy birthday cake, right? Mm. Jägermeister. I think it's a little too hardcore. For have you it. heard that theory that Jägermeister has deer piss in it, and that's why there's a deer on? Oh no! I don't think All right. Ooh. Okay. Robin brought that up. Robin was sitting there, cap in hand, with Christine, and I'm like, oh, "Stop oh, doing oh. that!" Yeah. Oh my god! I just lady. got so excited, <laughs> milady. She was sitting there, cap in hand, dude. Oh, we my in god. in that same sentence, we got a sitting there immediately followed by a cap in hand yeah oh god that's this is like a, a a double cap in hand episode it almost like canceled itself out wow the, robin was sitting there cap in hand mm. god he does he realize how often he, he says that oh my god stop wanting stop accepting. asking her stop, god, stop groveling. groveling that was where i was stop groveling because she talked the two of you too. Mm -hmm. So that's, I was just in that angry point there. So I was oh. like, Robin, you stop groveling. Cause How was Robin groveling? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you didn't see that? Groveling. She was like, whatever you need, Christine, to feel supported. I yeah. want you to be my sister wife. I mean, I saw my door her is having open. a diarrhea attack. Cap in well, hand. Like, yeah, cap in hand. I mean, God. we see the open door policy at Robbins, always just like oh, waiting come and on waiting. In. Christine's yeah. never going to love you. I'm in a state of anger, and she hasn't loved these two either. And she made the agreement that she would when she came in the family. Mm. Like I didn't become super, super close with Janelle until here in Flagstaff. Mm. Cody shared with me um, a story that prior to you guys really connecting, <laughs> there were moments tale. where you were bouncing Mary. Janelle and Robin, you got to a place of just not being a very good sister wife. Do you agree with that? That would you would bad mouth your other sister wives? He was just someone that I would just rag on some like rag on sometimes. Like if I was frustrated with someone, I would be like, oh, they did this and, and it's very frustrating. Yes, but that's not new. That because you don't think Robin complains about the other sister wives to Cody. Oh, and never. And the other and the brown kids. Cody just had a hunch. That Christine was being mean to her. Robin never brought up her groveling to her at all. It definitely didn't come from Whoa. Robin. 
Robin is known this, just to be very. This is a relationship. This is your life partner. Of course, you're going to vent to them. It doesn't mean that she's like, a ter- isn't that what you want? Don't you want your partner to tell you when they're frustrated about something? It's called venting, Cody. See, when when you're able to vent, you usually, that's good. Because then you can kind of get it out of your system and you don't explode like a rocket ship like Cody did. Waste! Dead. Like that? Yeah, like that. Mm, okay. He did the same thing. Yeah. He so you're saying he's guilty of complaining yes, about the other wives too? Yes, he about the other wives too. Not Robin. He never complained about Robin. About Robin. <laughs> yeah. um, but he would complain <laughs> about Mary and Jill all the time to me. I figured we were just complaining to each other because isn't that what people do? Right? Yeah. yeah. He was sounding board. I didn't think that I was being mean. Like he accuses me of being mean. I'm like, dude, I'm not a mean person. I don't know what you mean. I put up boundaries. You know, someone's not safe. Yes, but that's not mean. Oh, we got a safe Did too. you realize that, that quality that you were showing, which was you being honest, talking about other sister wives complaining? When did you realize that 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 he did not? <sighs> Jules Ken, uh, Jules Kenny Kennedy just said that was snarky. <laughs> LOL. <'cause> they, yeah. <laughs> well, she's found her snark. I think. She's got the balls to be snarky now. Exactly. Yeah. Because she's not going to have to share her thanksgiving turkey and her yeah. her dinner rolls and her tapioca pudding with robin anymore so now she, she never has to she never has out. to eat robin's bomb lasagna again <laughs> bomb lasagna please oh, please. And i didn't know until right now that that's what he was talking about when he was saying i was being mean me just venting to him is what he's talking about that i was mean to my sister wives I think it's ridiculous. But then why wouldn't you tell him? Like, I don't understand why you're saying I'm being mean to your sister wives. I don't get it. I'm not mean. She did say that. Give me examples. Yeah, I said, I don't know what you mean. And we just tried to drop it. And yeah, why? Dig into it further. Why? I don't know. Sounds why is she drop it? Why did you drop this whole interview, is it, Suki? And why is, yeah, why is Suki getting so aggressive with Christine when she's not doing it to Cody? Why, Christine? Why didn't you say it? Why didn't you say it? Why? Jesus Christ. God. Just that it doesn't work anymore for her. Is it as simple as that? And it has nothing to do with you, Cody. It's just that Christine oh, is yeah. a different person now. Uh, yeah, period. Absolutely. And, absolutely. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine yeah, I'm sure, with wait, that. Wait, yes, seem What was fine. that? What was that? No, that was Suki just saying, listen, Cody, it's not about you. Christine has changed. That's no, she she said, What if what if she said what if I think, didn't she? She well, said, so What if you could just what? wrap your head around like she's not saying Cody, Christine's a different person. She's saying, What if it was true that maybe you could see it this way? I mean, I don't and know he's what like, really yeah, I'm fine with that. Him. I'm fine. Well, obviously he's gonna be fine with that, but why would you even throw that out there? Why wouldn't he why isn't Suki saying and maybe she does after this? I don't know. Can you re- can you recognize that you have changed since the beginning of your marriage? That um, you have changed and your feelings towards her have changed. Can you acknowledge Tio, that? A Tio just said, "Oh my God, I just found you guys and subscribed. Yay, Aww. I love this!" And now we have a, about a thousand. We have nine hundred ninety nine. Oh, you know what time it is, guys? What was well, the last time we'll do it? Maybe again at the end. But also subscribe. Hit that subscribe. Smash then you don't have to worry about the time zone. Like. Smash that bike. Okay. Also, I think I have what um what Mary's drink of choice is. Okay. I think it's um okay, so I think she does like an iced coffee because she's an independent, you know, very uh liberated woman now. So she can drink coffee, some caffeine. So she goes okay, to the yeah. refrigerated section, she yeah. gets herself some maybe some Starbucks. Ooh. and then she pours that over ice and then she adds again sophisticated lady Bailey's. cucumber with lavender infused vodka over it because it's like you know coffee and vodka sophisticated <laughs> gross <laughs> Or it's you know, like one of those ones with like the rose essence. Ooh. Do you think that um, Bailey's flavored coffee creamer is not even allowed at Robin's house? Oh, oh, they might, they might, they might be tricking us in this actual alcohol in their Cody. Even though you're b- uh, both full of shit, because every time we see pictures of you two out in restaurants, you're drinking. So whatever. I don't think they consume caffeine. Yeah, but Cody always has a beer occasionally. 
Maybe. Anyway, we didn't we didn't put up our PayPal. If you guys want to leave us a tip, yeah. there's our PayPal info. Sure, why not? All right, I have okay. to pee so bad. I've drank like three of these. Since. I did too. You got to hold it. At, you're holding it. Don't break the seal. Don't you dare. Okay. Uh, that she's all right. like, listen, I'm not a fit here. I got to move on. That I'm, you can accept. I, yeah, but what she's actually doing up. is broke True. my baby's heart. I don't Ew. Him. Coward. Stop saying baby. Even for Pick's favorites. I don't respect him. Um. Just name it. She she <laughs> did. <laughs> name it. I mean, I I have so many examples that I could snarky know. comments. Mm. Also, those were all those were all legitimate reasons. Massively that I, legit. Like, oh, I almost killed Julie. Oh, I broke her baby's heart because her back was broken. Oh. Yeah, but I think he mentioned the coward that he the coward thing is what really stuck in his cross. He said he, nothing. He said that was cowardly. cowardly. He, but that's the thing. I mean, Bacon Fingers, my narcissistic ex boyfriend, complete monster, piece of shit. Um, that like you could really say anything to him, but if you called him like stupid, like even just like in like that's stupid. I mean, immediate like. What did you just mm. or or if you, if you call them a coward if you if you go after their manhood that's they can't like if you call them like a pussy or something or even if you said like oh that's a poor man's version of whatever oh my god no. watch out but the you could be like you're hear... a total you're a total asshole you're a bad person he'd be fine with that but like if you go after his manhood well, well that's because we're dumb dumb ladies well, like that's what what those like idiot ladies who think that they're like oh they're a feminist if we say that they're stupid Let's see what else Cody has well, to say. breaking up a marriage when you're not in love i get it but to assuage her guilt she has blamed me for everything oh including weird. to her children and some of janelle well, janelle's kids <laughs> oh oh not some <laughs> of all of janelle's kids all janelle's kids some of janelle's okay. kids Okay. I mean, her guilt, how... she, her guilt. She's turned what? it all around on Cody. I mean, how she's a she's the master manipulator. Cody's done nothing Classic wrong. Classic deflection. Yep. That's all she's doing. <laughs> you why is Suki not like literally almost Cody is that what you're doing? Your kids. Why isn't she saying, but isn't that what you're doing? Because you haven't said one thing that you contributed to this divorce. Oh, couldn't she Mel say the same thing to, for you melanie says amanda please don't believe all men are like cody no 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 no. i have great relationships with all my other exes so that mm -hmm. one really did a number on me all right yeah i also and think he's result, oh sorry, sorry. no if i could just point out the same thing i was yes. gonna say the same thing melanie he doesn't think his grown kids can think for himself so he's really saying like yep. well, all my kids are idiots too because they're believing her they can't think for themselves god they're all oh, adults. He's making it worse. Bye-bye. Yeah, he's yeah. making it worse for himself. And Gwendolyn did say on her live, um, she, one of the, because at the end of every, I keep saying live or video, um, at the end of every one of those that she does, she reads the top 10 questions on that people ask Ooh. on Patreon. And there's a couple of was like shady. There was like three questions. And one of them was like, why does uh, Robin only buy clothes from like the closet of like, Mm. Um, like Madame Bovary, Bovary. I don't know. It's like okay. some like uh, like old English. Um, but and then but then she so she showed the whole comment and then she answered just like the middle comment. But you could see like the two other questions were what? really bitchy about Robin and Cody. But she still put it up on the screen. So I was like, she knows what she's doing there. Oh yeah, she does. But yeah, she mm. said she. So one of the questions was, does watching this make you? like lose respect for your dad or Robin at all or dislike them more. And she said, well, definitely Robin. Like I definitely don't like Robin. I already didn't like her, but it makes me like her less. But she said, yeah, it is hard because I don't agree with my dad. She's like, at the time I like saw, I kind of agreed with what he was doing or like I saw his point of view, but now rewatching it, I don't. So it's, uh, that's fun. Well, that's because it was Christine COVID. talked to her. It's Christine's fault. Christine brainwashed her. We're at 31 mm -hmm. minutes and 16 seconds. Jeez. Those relationships have been pulled away from me, including, and this is the one I don't understand, Janelle. 
Mm. But she's trying to assuage her guilt by by saying, I'm a bad man. And I get it. She word. needs to do that so she can find another man who will trust her. Because if she leaves a good man, most guys are going to go, this is risky. What? That's a lot. <laughs> Wait, can you go? Wait, can you replay that again? That like you got it, me. babe. <laughs> Baby, what? So what bad. did I just hear? Well, first, first he's like, "The thing I don't get, Janelle likes her. The friends, Suki. <laughs> can you believe Baby. it? It's Baby. women. I worked for thirty years to get these women to hate each other, and they're still friends." Okay. What, okay. And this okay, is the one okay, I don't okay. understand, Janelle. Hmm. But she's trying to assuage her guilt by by saying, "I'm a bad man," and I get it. She needs to do that so she can find another man who will trust her. Because if she leaves a good man, most guys are going to go. This is risky. I promise you, no guys would ever even have that thought, ever. Okay. So. Explain this to me like I'm a woman. <laughs> Cody is saying he's the good guy? No, that can't be right. Because he's so obviously a bad person. So I don't really understand what he he's saying. He thinks if Christine... Okay. Okay. Him and so Robin, Christine like, has to the, say, like the this web is not that my they problem. Created. <laughs> yeah. So that when she goes on a date she's able to tell because the guy's gonna be like why did you leave your i need to know right now why did you leave your ex-husband was he a good man and she's gonna say no bad right. man because if she said no he was such a great guy this guy's gonna go whoa this is risky whoa. red flag check please i mean this is not i mean obviously any guy that's gonna date christina is gonna be like Oh, okay. So you were in a polygamous marriage with right. Cody Brown. Oh, by the way, I can actually watch all of these on Discovery Plus yeah. at any time. I mean, obviously I they're going to walk away and proof. be like, whoa, this is risky because she could have had all that. She could have had all that. And she left it. Also, I she think that most... been sitting there on a park bench looking at that mountain. God. She could have had all that. Like I would think that most people would be like, this is fucking sweet. Now I get to be with Christine. Like, thank yeah. God she left that great guy. Yeah. God. And you know, Robin at home is like, like they figured this out. Oh, like, Robin Cody's... said that. That's yeah. a, that's Cody's something a so woman would think of. This. Yeah, to spin a it. A man's not like, going to think that. That's not your fault? That, that's Robin saying, oh, trust me, if she's dating another man, they're going to say, oh, yeah, no, she's a red flag. She's I've heard of Cody Brown, and he seems a like guy. a great guy. From what I've heard, mm -hmm. like, talk yeah. to any person that watches this show. Like, no, no one. Like Justine says, they're the two most hated people in reality TV history. Yeah. But Cody must have been thinking like all these good guys that Christine might date when he was dating Robin, right? Oh, of course. All right. So there's oh. that. God, Jody, I mean, just insane. make sure, make sure that when you start dating again. Okay. I mean, Wait. I know it's kind of a okay. <laughs> make pen. sure that make sure that you tell that guy that your ex was just the worst. Actually, make oh. it the main point of conversation because people love talk when people talk about their okay. exes all the time. Yeah. So, but, otherwise, but if he was nice. Oh, I'm no. If you if you tell him that he was like actually a good dad and there were you know you were happy. Um, Red gonna, flag. Bye. 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 Oh, okay. So just, Cody's teaching us so much. Thank God for Cody Brown. <sighs> Coming up, let's talk about the goodbye. It really felt like there was this line, bye -bye. you know. We were all doing the best we could. But it's hard because it's like, I'm standing there with the knowledge that Christine doesn't want a relationship with me or my kids. Wait, she was what standing she didn't there. Say, yeah, she's standing there that time. She didn't say your kids with me or my kids. She said you. She said, I am not close with any of you as I am with you three. Janelle. Yes. So I'm just a little space. Cody being upset about that. Either he was oblivious and not paying attention, or he's conveniently seeing it one way. So that. The latter. Let's talk about the goodbye. Um, Christine's truck is packed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's ready to leave. 
Uh, but before she goes, McKelty wants to say goodbye to everybody. And thanks, McKelty. Feel, well, what, what did you think was going on at that moment? The way everybody was standing on different sides of the, yeah. the patio, it felt very much like here's the division. <laughs> it kind of felt that way. Yeah, it looked that way. It felt that way. There was definitely a side. There were sides being taken. Let's take a look. Yeah, they made it pretty obvious. Um, someone yeah, asked about my it. necklace. It's from Target, yeah. and it's just, it's not a choker. Target, <laughs> Target. Oh, my God. Yeah, and it's just like a bunch of little silver mm. thingies. Mine's vintage 2014 Target. Oh my. Oh, this is probably from 2008. Oh. I, I brought this with me put through college, through every move. This moved from Arizona like to New York and then all the tour. To <laughs> it's my New Year's sparklies. Yeah, me too. Okay. Something like that. And then these earrings, my aunt, my aunt gave me these earrings for Christmas, Amanda. God, you are just for working her to the bone. <laughs> Dang. I need some of those moments. Hi, everybody. Oh, gosh, that was terrifying. We're outside right now. Oh, nice. In the backyard? <laughs> yes, let's go. You fucking uh, psycho. Kelly's heart. Oh, she wants to <laughs> affirm that the family's still a family. And I, I'm in this sort of weird place where, you know, I'm like thinking I don't want to see Christine ever again. I think this is probably something that's one of the hardest things that this family is going to have to go through. But I think that it's awesome that we can all be here Quite to awesome. show that at the end of this all, we are still a family. It's very apparent how awkward we all are, but Janelle and her kids are on one side and Robin and Cody are on the other. And okay. none of us want to be here. Okay. okay, safe travels. We'll see ya. I, just bye, only bye, me, bye. only me. I forgot about that, what he said. Only, only me. me, only me. Well, does it matter at that point then, Cody? You're all going to get into the same minivan without seatbelts in a minute. So yeah, what binky, does it matter binky. if you're all hugging each other or not? And God. this is the, and this is the moment where he walks up to Truly and he's like, hmm, hey, Truly. So uh, ready to go? You said you're leaving? She's like, what one. are you talking about? This is what she's wearing her detective. Where her in the world is <laughs> yeah. Thurman's and me ain't go. Only me, okay? All right, we'll see you, sweetheart. I love you. Truly is side hugging him. Like, okay. All right, okay. bye. Bye, bye. See ya. This is such an awkward moment. Thank you for coming. You're making it awkward. Okay. You. <laughs> no one else is being awkward there. Janelle's hugging her. I think this was the worst goodbye. That I've ever witnessed. Thank you. We're just watching them all cry. They're like, yeah. three chapters. Okay. Okay. I felt like this, and McKelty saw it. I didn't understand it at the time, but now I'm like, you know what? We really needed it, no matter how awkward it was. Yeah. There had to be a place where it was like, okay. Are you glad you did it? Yeah. You feel like to hug Christine at that moment. I know I'm not a huggy person. Yeah. But, but like, but she just needed a hug. I don't know how to explain it. I just was like, she needs a hug. And so I just went and gave her a, a hug. It's, it's hard. Like the emotion comes through. Mm -hmm. It seems like Cody and Robin were just kind of just standing there. I know. It was super awkward. It was a little bit antagonistic. It was very Ooh. separate. It really felt like there was this line. <sighs> Hang on. Antagonistic. She's it's time. Sad. It's about that time. Oh, Someone's trees. checking in. Treezy. Oh. She says, Happy New Year, everyone. She's Happy purring. Happy New Year. She's not blinking. <laughs> Hi, Schmuggle. Everyone loves you. She's like, What do I need to edit? What do I, what do I, <laughs> do I have to get started here with my editing? <laughs> oh, my God. That I mean, I, I I give Janelle a lot of credit for saying that. Yeah, it was antagonistic. It absolutely was. Oh, oh, you're on mute. Latrice just unplugged something, I think. <laughs> Latrice, edit that out when you're um yeah, I shouldn't have brought her up here. Yeah, my my microphone. Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> <laughs> no, she finally said it. It was antagonistic. And also just to stand there and be watching three people embrace and cry and just be like yeah weird and aurora and brianna are just Bleh. oh and also the fact that they are all um oh siblings 
You're supposed to be mother, oh, yeah. children, sister, yeah. wives, siblings. No, oh, Cody, weird. they were so mean to me when we announced our pregnancy and their oh. whole life had just been upended. And now we're bring, now they have to be aware of the fact that we're banging. Yeah, He was yeah. completely over there. And then he realized probably how that looked. And so he tried to make an effort to oh. step more into the middle. Oh. So I think we were all doing the best we could. Yes. I, yeah, she's not, not, he had an emotion, like he actually felt bad. No, he, realized he, re he remembered like the cameras were there. That's basically what she's saying. Oh, you're mm -hmm. leaving now, Latrice? Bye. She comes up here, unplugs my mic, and then fucking hits the road. I right. love that they're all onto Latrice now. How long, yeah, how long before <laughs> Latrice starts jamming at your forearms? Yep. <laughs> she hasn't got me in a couple days. Um, okay, we're back with Robin. We're at 35 minutes. Oh, look at even. SJ, even though Schmuggle. Schmurgs! Schmuggly! Schmuggly Schmurg. That aerial view is just so telling, right? You know? Well, it's just, wait, pause. Was, Did she just say aerial of you? I heard it. I heard it. Aerial, but, uh, She's yeah, calling her Areola. No, in my book, Suki just called her Areola. Okay. Because we, if it was because of COVID okay. still. Um, oh, cause it, yeah. it wouldn't have been that way. I would have hugged her, mm -hmm. but it's hard because. Oh, shut so up. You would not have hugged so her. Me. Come on, Suki. You know, the timeline, you know, the exact day they filmed that you couldn't have said, actually, this was when your kids were back at school. Your even. husband was, was dancing like a Mexican jumping bean at a wedding the week before. Yeah. And doing like ponies with uh, all the women that he doesn't know yeah. at the wedding. Yeah, he was dancing with someone's abuela and he was like, he had knees up, you know, doing a little Aww. like jig, like three amigos, <sighs> like a... People keep uh, people keep giving us uh, super stickers for Latrice, Carmeliza. Aww. Latrice is this trying is to insane. hypnotize me with her eyes. TT doll, what? here's for your kitty, Amanda. Thanks, guys. Sorry, this is absolutely wild. This is the most pissed off I am at Suki for not calling this. Because this is like yes. not even a like a, oh, I interpreted it this way. This is a, oh, what's that word? Um, it's on your chart. Uh, facts. Get it out if you want. facts. Oh, facts. Our emotions will not change the facts. And the fact is your kids were back in school. And also the fact is you were just hugging Tony and McKelty and little... Yeah. Avalon, yeah, the day before. Well, they're just How passing babies different? all around, babies, because they don't spread germs. <sighs> God, he, Suki like, sucks. I'm standing there. Oh, standing with there the again. knowledge that Christine doesn't want a relationship with me or my kids. Again, just you, you specifically, Robin. Not your. And I'm like, I I don't know why why am I saying goodbye if she doesn't want you know it's like because you're an adult and this is the kind of stuff that you do. You go over and say goodbye. That's why. Oh. Well, why am I saying this? She doesn't like me. Because well, you're an adult. When she, when she divorced her horribly, her horrible, horrible ex-husband, who she is allowed to divorce, but no one else can yes. ever get a divorce, but she can. Wait, her ex-husband. So bad. Her ex-husband, Cody's third cousin and Christine's first cousin? Yeah. He was David so Jess bad okay. that the kids had to be adopted. So terrible. Right. I mean. The kids yeah, spend two months of summer with them. Summer with with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's okay. Um, right. So she that she doesn't understand that. He was only abusive in the um, off season. Well, <laughs> so well like when he go during summer, when he wouldn't pay her Victoria's Secret bill. That was only that was Robin. Really, when she when they got divorced, she took over the Victoria's Secret debt to 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 keep to keep sweet. That was really she really made that a sacrifice. So nice of her. Nice of her. To know, then because... give that debt to someone else. Because clearly he was sending She tries money. to make herself a hero. Like, I took on that debt when I left the marriage. Okay, you're allowed to say that if you then actually paid it off. But you didn't. Yeah. Someone else on... paid it for you. you did I was the middleman between <laughs> Yeah, you made paying it two off. people have to stress yeah. about this debt. Your ex and the person who actually paid it. God, God, she sucks. I, I wanted to show up so that Christine could see that at least with even with all of the rejection, the rejection and her leaving and everything else, that no matter what, like I was still there. Like I'm still going to show up and say goodbye, even though this is really, really hard. Oh, you're a hero, oh, Robin. It's really, it's really, really hard. 
but I but I'm still there because that's the kind of person I am. Um, someone up here said, I believe Robin's ex. Wait, where, where was it? Oh, sorry, I don't it's know. Up. sorry, I can't find it. Now. Oh, no, okay, okay. I believe Robin's ex was abusive. That's why she thinks Cody's yelling is okay. That's actually a pretty good point. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sure. Also, I believe I I don't believe that he wasn't an asshole. Oh, there's a reason they got a divorce for yeah, sure. Of course. I mean, I feel like Robin's probably a big part of that too, but, um, but yes, of course. But uh, yeah, but this is a good point. That's she's probably just used to yeah. the yelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. We've talked a lot about the family divide, but goodbye is goodbye. Yeah. It, it's the end of an era. Like yeah. it's definitely, it's like everything. Christine has been such a big center of my world and my children's world. I'm curious. It seems like you guys are closer now than you ever were when you were sister wives. What do you think about Cody being upset about that? Because he's like, hello, this is what I wanted all the time. You know, we had actually done a lot of that work before she left. Okay. Either he was oblivious and not paying attention, which is possible, or he's conveniently seeing it one way. <laughs> she keeps, mm. Janelle is so good at like, at, um, just said exactly how to word things so that she kind of gets out unscathed but yeah, yeah she she's done this a couple of times in this episode where she goes well there's a possibility that he just didn't hear it or there's the real possibility where he 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 decided to he decided that this is the best this is how he's gonna look the best yeah you remember the cameras were there or like you know about how he's a gossip, gossip. He leaks like I mean, she's just letting it all. Yeah, she's letting it go. But, but she does it with that jolly smile on her face. <laughs> say, but she's jolly when she says it. So we're all like, no, she's giving it. Oh, we see oh it. We God, love that. What kind of guy do you think she'd eventually be interested in? You know her better than yeah, anyone. I think she wants oh. someone who really just cherishes her. Do you think she has oh. a physical type out of curiosity? <gasps> She's, she has this uh, oh, fantasy. Oh. I want Janelle to just be like, black guys. <laughs> Big burly black guys. <laughs> Which I can see. I can, I for some reason, can see that. Character, you guys like, she's just like, oh, she real big dude. Yeah. Big <laughs> fucking just... <laughs> Like, it um, hurts. Girl, like she's girl. not walking straight for a week after that. So in fact, he's some character from a, a video game that they made into a movie. Oh. Duratan is an orc. And that's really what I'm attracted to. Oh, <laughs> that was like the most Christine thing. Duratan? Is that what she said? He's an oh orc. Oh my god, they're about to show it. What? And and does orc, does she mean ogre? Or is there is there some kind of thing that's also called an orc? I don't know fantasy shit. Oh, wow. I don't. Oh, that's just like made me like. Ugh, Org? I feel like she meant to say ogre, but I feel like she'd know better than me. I can see her being like a Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings type gal, though. Can't you? Harry Potter? Yeah, but I think that that's different than like video game anime. She's going to clean up in the dating pool if she likes oh, video games. Oh, that's true. That's so true. What was the thing you Dave said? Nice move, Darkwing. Yeah. One time Jody I mean, was walking through the house and her husband was playing video games and she heard him say that. I, I still to this day swear I heard and it. He and he denies it. I'll go to his grave saying he he never said that. I believe you. I really no, know. I believe you. Um, oh, okay. Everyone's saying orcs <laughs> are from Lord of the Rings. Hey, I got a, a reference right. Told ya. Remember when... Um, <laughs> I love how many people know this. Good. Yeah. Right. Remember when... Uh, Dave made me watch Lord of the Rings and I was waiting, waiting, waiting. And then I was like, when does Yoda like get born? Right, right. I still think Yoda and that guy, the the guy who drops a ring in a volcano. Uh, Schmiegel. Like, like they're related. But Schmiegel. There's, yeah. Remember, they're related when, uh, remember when I watched the all three like original Star Wars with Mole? Ooh. oh yeah you were gonna watch like all of them yeah but then like then i decided to move back to canada and i was like bye and um, his mole started bleeding his mole he it often bled um by the way guys if anyone <laughs> wants to know what mole is and actually i'm glad i'm bringing this up too because a bunch of people were have been asking like what is this hot 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 thing that that they keep talking about there's an episode it's on our free itunes spotify whatever the audio part yep love to hate everything 
some there are dates flying around. People are like, people know the date of it. It's but it's called the name Feeling of the episode, hot, hot. Feeling Hot, Hot, yes. Hot. And it's kind of like Free. buried in the second half. The second whole half of the episode. It's a story of this guy was dating who we call the mole. You'll understand why. Well, I guess we already mm. said it. It's moles bleed. Mm. Um, but uh, <laughs> check it out. It's a harrowing, mm. harrowing story. Mm. All right. So Christine's talking about her work. Yeah. Dargon. Yep. It's bad. To Rattan, the first time you meet him, well, he's a warrior, but he's looking at his wife with so much love and so much, and he would do this anything is sad. for her. And I just want that kind of love, Suki. I just want that kind of love. Yeah. But who would be a celebrity crush? God. Who are you? Who's your type, Christine? All right. <laughs> Like a lady okay, in a trap um, has that same sort of look. Christine, come on. Well, Shamar Moore. <gasps> definitely, definitely. You called it. I know my Wait, I need to I need to look up Shamar Moore. I need to look yeah, it. It shows up. a picture right after Jody. Jody. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, don't oh, worry. Trust. Down. Trust he'll oh. see. Shamar Moore. Okay, he's handsome, but he's Stop too it. like pretty Stop it. I'm not I think he's hot. Suki's, Shamar Moore, Suki's loving it. She's like, ooh, girl. Shamar Moore. <laughs> I I I, I, need to I, knew, I could I need to be able to fit in his jeans. And I, I don't I'm not Yeah, true, 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 true. That is true. Beautiful. What? Oh, mm, You're not throwing him out of your bed. Give me another one. <gasps> you just said that. Stop <gasps> it. Oh my god. Suki. Yeah. Um, just someone who treats women well. You know, <laughs> she meant to say as opposed to how Cody treats women. Boom! Wow, Suki said, "Not gonna throw him out of your bed." Sukanya, Suki, I can't believe you just. I, but I think, but I'm still, I'm still feeling the same girlfriend vibe between Suki and Robin, right? I mean, they totally. must be j joking around like this. They just cut it out, right? They're Robin, totally you can joke going for like chocolate milks together after this. No, fun hot chocolate and Ooh, it's whipped fun. cream marshmallows. That's fun. Yeah, uh, that is still like one of the most outrageous things Cody has ever done. Uh, to ask at a Mexican restaurant, do you have hot chocolate? And they're like, we can make some. Run to the, the bodega down the street. No, we don't keep marshmallows in stock in a Mexican restaurant. Um, uh, we're, we only have five minutes left, and I'm upset that this is, wasn't an entire segment of just Christine naming guys like celebrity crushes. I know that's what there I want. More. Give me don't more. just end with that. You can tell us more. <sighs> Coming up, damn it! You and Christine... We just got Shamar Moore. That's it. Is that his I name? Know. Shamar Moore. Yes, yeah, Shamar Moore. Lorianne Williamson just said, uh, Williamson said, Shamar Moore treated the women on Criminal Minds like queens. <gasps> really? Mm, Criminal Minds. Know. Mandy Patinkin used to be on that show. Patinkin. <sighs> Patink talk. I've kind of fallen it's off of Patink talk. talk. I think it's gone to their heads a little bit. They're performing. It's not as I need to. I need organic. to change my algorithm again. It's mm. it's so weird now. Hot chocolate and a splash of, ba a splash of Baileys. No, that would be good. No, that's actually. good. That's or with some rum chata, and I do not, oh, I can't chata. stomach rum, but a Me little neither. rum chata in there. Mm. Hey, oh, like horchata. Why did they ask for horchata at the Mexican restaurant? Cody can't pronounce that. Uh, that's right. Oh, because it has whore in it, Cody. I think just Cody doesn't like to him, Mexican food is Taco Bell. Like, he doesn't actually know anything like culturally about like Spanish food or anything. Oh. Like that. Like he's like, oh, we're gonna go. Like and we're he knows get American this authentic. They have um beef steak on the menu. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> when in Rome, <laughs> like what's a, like what's a what's like a chef like a restaurant chain that's like Mexican but it's like American? Are Pepe? there any? Oh, like Chili's? Yeah, Chili's. Chili. Okay. We're going over Mexican food. <laughs> oh, he's not going to Chili. He's going to like Applebee's. Sure. Chili Southwest egg rolls slurp. I don't think there's chilies in Canada. I've been there to a happy place. I'm going to really pee my pants right I now. I want real so, relationships yeah. with all of these ladies. I always have. Always yeah, right. have. What is your Robin? relationship? How do you describe your relationship with Robin? I don't want to hear him say that the relationship is good. I don't want to hear him say anything nice about Robin. I don't want to hear the answer to that. Cody's more of an oh, yeah. Arby's guy. Yeah, well, that... Well, 
Are you referencing a lunch be multiplied, not divided? I know that skin hot chocolate is a thing, but there wasn't hot chocolate on the menu. Well, we all know that because Tani had a Mexican hot chocolate bar at their Obviously, the one of bridal their showers. shower. Yes. But no, so the bridal shower or were... like the engagement. He was at yeah. both, I'm sure. So yeah. He picked out the dress. <gasps> all right. All right, last segment. We're at 38 minutes. Do you think you and Christine could ever get to a happy place? It's really dependent on Christine. Yeah. I have to tell you, like, because I'm ready. I'm willing for that. But it would have Shut to be, up. like, really established on, like, real stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like, real trust and the real desire. I, I want... So then, no. Like, you, there's no way anyone's trusting you, Robin. Yeah. Why would she Everything trust you say you is a lie. Yeah. You can't Especially even trust when you pretend this. to cry. Taco Bell. Real. Like I want Taco real Bell. relationships with Taco all Bell. these ladies. I always have, always what have. Ever. Before I even fell in love with Cody, I fell in love with the, the family no, you and didn't. the family culture you of smacked one big hand family. away. Mm -hmm. It's something that I am like mourning all the time. Mm. Well, blame yourself, bitch. Remember when you never let your kids near the rest of the Browns? Remember when Robin was dressed up as Cleopatra, though? <laughs> It can make me. It's every time like I think of it, I'm just like, I feel like it centers me to think of that. It kind of just puts everything into perspective as to remember Robin dressed as Cleopatra. Kind um, brings her down a peg. Kind of puts yeah. her where she needs to be. Because I think she knew that she looked ridiculous. Joey Anderson says, there's a Chilean Regina, Amanda. Wow. Get yourself over there. Well, I have family there. So next time my Auntie mm. Kim comes to visit, I'll get her to get me some Southwest egg rolls and drive them the 12 Give hours. the gala day off already. That's my Auntie Kim. Auntie Debbie. Oh, Auntie Debbie. God. Don't even, don't even get Twyla mixed up in the mix. Oh, no, Twy. Told Twy. There's also a brother in their family named Nolan. Very progressive with the names, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah. All right, beaker face, beaker face. Beaker, beaker, beaker. They took it away. They took it away from me. No, from me. you took it away from yourself. <laughs> What? <laughs> You're not crying, Robin. This is outrageous. She just made a little like fart noise with her mouth. She just went. <sighs> Suki, how about say, um, do you think you not allowing any of your kids to touch their siblings would have anything to do with that? Or like when or Ariel the, the fact you had didn't a know her sister's names. Right. At Christmas. Or the fact that you came into this family after all other kids were almost pretty much grown and they already had an established. Do you think maybe but you she had were cap responsible? In hand. Oh, she, she did arrive. Cap in hand. Cap in hand. Right. Does it feel unfair? Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. It feels really unfair. Oh, yeah. so from tears to laughing. Yeah, I'm really... Excuse me. Um... Excuse me for my fake <laughs> crying. Sorry, I get so <laughs> embarrassed when I get emotional. Um, you do? Oh. You get embarrassed when you get emotional? Oh, look how embarrassed she looks. Yeah. Excuse me. Um... <sighs> no, when there you... are things that I do that are embarrassing, I try to not do them 26 times a day. Whoa, I just... <sighs> she sees nothing that she did nothing wrong, but she never, ever came around, wouldn't let any of the kids hold Solomon or truly when they were babies never wanted to be around them at all did you see that clip um it's from again like you told me you told me not to watch any of the tell-alls like not these tell-alls but like as I was watching you said don't worry about any of like the okay interviews but there is an interview that's going around this clip where somebody uh I think it's Tamron Hall is reading a question from the audience and she says Robin, um, apparently you're getting your own spinoff show. It's like a rumor. Thank God that didn't happen. Oh, Robin's like, oh, oh yeah. Ha, ha. And then she said, what would it be called? And she said, oh, Sob and Robin. And then Janelle high fives. <laughs> it was awkward. But I, she knows that people call her Sob and Robin. And I, and I like that. Yeah. It makes me feel good. She's got to sleep at night knowing that. Mm. We call her Sob. She tried to make a joke of it, but like, no, that the whole world calls you Sob and. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, no, she's every, being everyone... passive aggressive to the world. She's like, I see you. Bitch. I feel angry. I'm angry at them all. <gasps> yeah, I am. I'm really angry about it. And I'm angry what we've done to our family and 
Wow. I would have never chose this. Like I said, if I had the power that everybody thinks I had, this wouldn't be happening. And well, you do have the power, and that is why this is happening. Yeah, exactly. What what Robin wanted was for everyone to stick around, for everyone to love her kids and to hang out with her kids all the time. She doesn't have to like the kids or like invite them over or like make room for truly to be able to sleep over or anything. Yeah. Love my kids, accept this all, and let me be the favorite wife and be with Cody all the time. And then you guys can, like, you just stay and you're unhappy. But since yeah. they are, you know, allowed to leave, that makes her angry. Mm. I just, um, I feel cheated. Memories. I feel absolutely cheated. Do you feel scapegoated by the sister wives? Oh. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Yeah, I'm, I, I jokingly refer to myself as Cody's whipping boy. What? Uh, that's not, it's incorrect the way you're saying that's that, though. Because not, you're not Cody's not whipping me. boy. You'd be everyone else's whipping boy. Whipping yeah, post? Same thing. And Suki? A fuck right off. Why didn't Suki ask Christine that? Christine, do you feel like you're Cody's scapegoat? Because he's blaming everything on you. Yeah, I don't I like Suki. That. Suki better really come in guns blazing next, next episode. Like, what there better the be hell? something for all of us here. Come on. And also, Robin, I thought your mom was the one who said, oh, you're the Brown family scapegoat. By the way, beaker, 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 beaker. <laughs> That's beaker. like that. You got a solid God. beaker on that one. Uh, Red Lipstick Club podcast. Hello, Red Lipstick Club podcast. Ooh, that's a, that's a tongue twister. Um, mm. I always love other, pod, other podcasts. Uh, you know, the camaraderie. Yeah. So the victimhood softball Suki keeps throwing to Cody and Robin. She's the worst. I mean, it is softball. I can't, I can't defend her anymore. I defended her mm -mm. too much. Um, when he does something they don't like, I get blamed. When, um, you know. Oh, I see what she thought she was saying. Cody's whipping boy. She's saying. She's getting Cody's blamed for stuff that for he's Cody's. done. Cody's, yeah. Like she's yeah, also. His... But you are to blame you if was... you keep defending him. Yes. Yes. If you're saying what he's doing, you're not is being okay. a good sister wife or mom or sister mom. Like um, when Cody said, I need to stay home because my little babies need me. They're of a tender age. I can't go with Isabel for her surgery. You should have said, Robin, I'll will be fine. We'll be fine. Go with your child who's having her back broken yeah. open. Oh, oh yeah, God. because we're down there now. We're up here. God, Kristen this is says, terrible. Kristen Bremner says, "Why did Suki ask her that? That was just an invitation for Robin to keep up the martyr act." Because some producer probably said to Suki, "Oh, Robin calls herself the Brown family scapegoat, so make sure you say the word scapegoat because that's one of the that's one of the two syllable words yep. that Robin can understand. <laughs> one of few." Did Suki think she could pull this job off, having watched just like a handful of episodes? Yeah, I I don't because she, she clearly watches. has not watched this whole thing. God, we need someone who knows these episodes. She's like... saying nothing, and it's cowardly. And I don't care you... if I've said that ten times this episode. It... I love that uh, Zachariah on TikTok loves <gasps> sister wives. He I could, know. he could maybe uh, Cody wouldn't know what to do with him either. Oh no, he could not get out there and chip away at some logs with no. Zachariah. No. Why is that? No tears Maybe are I'm coming. an easy target the because face. I have a tendency to just take it and, oh, what? you know, just not get jerky about it. I don't fight. It's not my, it's not my nature to fight. No, you don't outwardly oh. fight, but you create, you create a storm in yes. every situation. You bitch you and complain you don't to raise Cody your about it. Yep. But and you're fighting. fighting. When have we ever seen Christine or Janelle fight? We don't even see right. uh what's her face. Well, there was Mary. that time that Christine tackled Mary mm, and then like rolled mm, her mm, mm, mm. and then steamrolled over her. That was pretty amazing. Funny. Um I have to really, really whoa, 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 whoa. get tough within myself to fight. It's just I am more She's gotta go inner Shira. <gasps> She's more heart. Oh I'm just absolutely more heart. You know, more let's heart talk than about, who? you know, your relationship with Robin. All right, here she we go, respects you. She talks about how she respects the marriage and your covenant should. that you have with each other. What is your Christine respected the marriage too? She and stuck around for Cody. 25 years. She respects the fucking covenant. She was actually raised in polygamy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I guess Robin was too, she says. Relationship. How do you describe your relationship with Robin? Whoa, he looks angry. <laughs> Perfect. Love her. <gasps> do I have time? No, I'm not going to talk about her. <gasps> you don't want to talk about her? No. Whoa. He's such a fucking baby. He's literally throwing like a silent treatment tantrum right now. He then, then you don't get paid, Cody. Watch. Yep. He's acting, oh Jody. He's doing a little improv set. No, I think he knows. I don't talk about, I'm not going to talk about Robin. I'm not going to talk badly or whatever. Like she is so sacred and special to me. I will not speak about her. But he also knows that if he says nice things, everyone's going to come after him. I think that, I think he knows that he is, he is aware. Well, I, God forbid I say anything nice. Cause then the other wives are going to get mad. I think that's right. where he's going with this. Which is, which also implies I don't give a shit about any of the other three. Right. right. We just spent the, the whole seasons. Both we'll tell always talk about shit. those three, but not her. Wow. Those of you who are asking what, it, what happened. She said, tell me about your marriage with Robin. And he just sat there and goes, and that's when she goes, do I have time? And he's like, like a little I'm stubborn little brat. God. You don't get to choose the questions, Cody. Pouting. Can we play the clip and then you can react to it? Sure. Maybe. Oh my God. Grow up. This is such gross. a baby. Next time, on Sister Wives, one Next time on Sister Wives. So that's the end. We're that's the cliffhanger. What Cody's gonna say about Robin after watching the sure. Clip. Can you play it? Maybe. Sure. But boy, this is see. like when you're babysitting some little asshole kid that you're like, he is way like he's like 11 and way too old to be acting like this. But you yeah. know, there's like a nanny cam or some shit watching you where you're like, right? And you're like, oh, okay. Come on. Would you like to? Eat dinner first before you go and take your bath. <laughs> Those fucking manicams cams really changed the game, didn't they? Hell. Okay, can we watch the previews the next time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to take a hit before that. <laughs> On one. Is Robin the favorite wife? You know, that's the most unfair question because you don't have any idea. <gasps> it's like, it's obvious where you want to spend your time, Ben. I mean, come on. <sighs> they handed him to me and said, "We we don't want to spend time with him." Basically, here you what? have him all the time. Yeah, they right. Each have something with him that I do not have. Who Cody is right now is not who I met and married. It does this intense, and he's like, "You are culpable. You are responsible." And I'm like, "Hey, dude, this is like a multi-piece thing here. Vulnerable? Oh, yeah. Like, I, why couldn't you?" Christine just her? left, and Janelle is. Jason her. Do you feel that Janelle has disrespected you in any way? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, see, respect and love are equivalent for me. I'd rather be respected than loved. I don't know. Things just really became sort of indifferent. Like, I just didn't care anymore. I know that she's frustrated and she's so hurt. And that now that she was married to, she realizes that he's totally different, but she's different too. I think if we both really sat down, we'd look at each other and say, really? We've been separated for several months. What? pretty stupid for people who love each other huh kind of yeah that was crazy but um so i guess the last uh, episode is going to just be about the divorce which we all know about already whoa um so they handed him and said here we don't want to spend time with you spend him. all your yeah, i mean we saw that happen over and over right oh christy was she, like Go i'm hoping she's away. just referring to like flag staff don't don't come to the hospital. It's fine. Truly's fine. Yeah. Just take your nap, Cody. I mean, Stay we with saw Robin. Janelle. We saw Janelle being like, "None of us want to see you, Savannah, and I do not want to see you. Yeah, Go away. Yeah. Stop coming over here to help rake leaves and look at the greens or the spinach that we have growing in the backyard." God, she's no, a liar. That. God, roll the tape, Suki. She, if she just... doesn't bring up Isabel surgery. I don't think she's gonna. That was last season. And so they're not obviously not gonna bring up Gabe crying. I'm not coming. 
Oh, right. Because let's not do that. Oh, no. I can't be unfair. Not show that. Unfair question to ask if Robin is his Yeah, favorite. Debbie Gutierrez is right. TLC needs to strong arm Cody. Because that's fucked. That's fucked that he got away yeah. with this whole thing. He completely if you're going to sit there and harumph and not answer questions, then, okay, then we're just not going to air your segments then. That's yeah. going to be a Christine and Janelle hour. Bye bye. I really do think that if they they said to him and because like, look, you don't need to be in the show, Cody. Like, like yeah. we can easily, even with Mary, we can like Mary's a nice little palate cleanser, maybe just like, mm -hmm. oh. like she could just be like right before the commercial break or like between commercials where you get like a little thirty second clip. A little That's interstitials, where Mary sure. The interstitials, yeah. Because you know so, what, yeah. it would chaff Cody's ass if they were like, okay, well. Oh. Bad. I mean, we have to pay you because it's in the contract, but we're not airing your segments because you didn't answer anything. He he'd like to say he'd be fine with it because he's like, oh, at least I got paid. But no, he wouldn't. No, he needs no, to be in the death spotlight to have God. his two ex wives, those women, get more airtime than him. Oh, but dude, you know how much it chaps both of him and Robin's ass to see how much support the fact that Janelle and Christine are are. When you say their names, when any of us say their names, it's always preceded by a queen. Queen Strive Janelle. by Janelle. Queen, literally. Queen strive actually. by Janelle, I think. Strive and thrive. And thrive. <sighs> Can I play you the Insta her Instagram video from the other day? Because it's really funny. Mary's? <laughs> no, uh, Janelle's. Oh, okay. Oh, I just have that plugging in my phone. Oh, did Mary? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, find that. Um, where are we here? Janelle. I love Janelle so much. It's okay. really funny, you guys. So funny. Oh, shoot. Oh, it must have just been a story. Damn it. Wait, well, anyway, she was way up it? close to the... Uh, no, what are you What are you looking for? Um, I was going to look for Mary's rant. Oh, got simple treasures just came. Police say they're investigating a... Here the... <laughs> She's simple heading to Nashville. <laughs> uh oh. Um, okay, wait, Janelle Brown. Um, dogs on couch, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, while you're doing that, I'll play Mary. Uh... Yeah, here it is. I found it. I found oh, it. Day, and I, uh... So I came home after wait. So I came home after uh really long day and I Look how close she is. Right up in there. This is such a good story. <laughs> she can't flip the camera. <laughs> she doesn't know. Oh. A couch full of dogs. Oh my god. Oh, well, that, no, that's the beginning yeah. again. She's watching Murder, She Wrote. Uh, I got Mary here. Murder. Okay. This is a I'm classic game. Half, Donna. Stephanie, the pants are 52. Do we get I look like her. For a second so I God can damn it, I do. On? Have your size. I am twins. sorry. She's a little drunk, I think. sold another day. Um, okay, so Chris, panda is my claim word. You don't have to buy them, Judy, if they're too high for you. Okay. Um, I don't force anybody to buy because that would be rude of me. Um, passion or sorry, panda is a claim word. There's no item called panda. Yes. Um, block. So you're not gonna put panda <laughs> in. Is the problem. You're not gonna look for panda on the website. Nope. Panda, there's no discount code summer. I'm not giving summer Cheryl. Cheryl. The clothes you wear always look too tight and too small. Wow. <sighs> okay. <laughs> You're so cute. And that little ray of sunshine. Thank you for sharing. Hey, you have all the control. I don't. Teresa, here's this thing. And it's called, I like jackets that are open. Look. There it is. Listen, some people like big boobs anyway. So, yeah. you know, if you're going to, like, body shame me, listen, 
that's just like weird and awkward and well, <laughs> she didn't know where she was going with that <laughs> can be a kind person and quit body shaming people because that's not cool life tips by mary i'm gonna release you because Stop i don't yelling. need your energy in here okay bye small is six eight there's no such that was that's the beginning six. again I'm five eight and a half donna aggressive <laughs> God. and she is so, this is selling things but people are buying them she's like super successful she almost went into like a, an Anna Nicole like and if you don't like him I, I want him to produce man <laughs> <laughs> does anyone know what we were just referencing <laughs> Jim spa baby like my body because <laughs> he's fucking she says like something like fabric and then she does like a <laughs> okay all right all let's get right. out of here let's uh oh, quickly for anyone who's i don't know missed the first part uh patreon we're changing Tier one is now going to be TRP. Um, and tier two will still stay as sister wives content. And then over well, on well, total, yeah. yeah, over on total request, that stays the same. And come back and join us next week. But after we're done with Sister Wives uh this season, we're going to be reading the Sister Wives book every Sunday. Yep. Little, little Sunday reading. Classic. Yeah, just like a little classic. If you want to leave us a tip, check out our PayPal. It's scrolling at the bottom of the screen here. Amanda Thanks. Jody, Country Canada. Yes. Amanda Jody Podcast at gmail.com. Amanda. Yes. Amanda. Amanda okay, that was skin hinged. <laughs> I hate Cody so much. I think I'm gonna have craft dinner with a uh, with cut up hot dogs again. Oh, I it's love that. And we love you guys. You know what to do? Hit that subscribe button and, and like. smash that like. That's right. And uh we'll see you guys later. See you guys next week. Bye bye. Hi Walt. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and we love to hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>